Yo, today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your online activity should not be public. So protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash achievement. Welcome to Off Topic. This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash RTTV. That last part's important. It is. For I us. would argue the first part. For us. <laughs> the first part's important, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that last part, that's how you they know. Oh, I feel like the middle was the most there. important part for uh, me. Hey, the what's silence up? in between. We're here. Not much. Live. What's up? Hello. <laughs> A lot going on. You get it? I don't know. Jax, give give him a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> That's why I was yeah! saying. Yeah! You see those hands in the chat? Yeah, okay. Oh. Um, what's up? We got Michael, Lindsay, Jack, Trevor. It's and been a while. No big fuss. No you know big mean? fuss. Let's fuss. not make a meal of it. Um, um, yum, yum. I'm kind of hungry. You were kicking around a meal earlier. Yo, where'd, pizza? That, pe- where'd that pizza come from? That was good. East side. East side. East side Jack good. hates East side. I do not like East side. That was okay, okay but I'm not a fan of East side. They were extra cheesy. That cheese pizza was a fucking spear of cheese. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna be clogged up for I the just next had week. One, though. Did I just you had one. take your one back? entire pizza? No. Of course not. <laughs> it was just one slice. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes. Hey, for those who aren't watching live, why am I talking to them? Let's yeah. talk to the, the who people. Cares about those people. Hello. Who are here, um, but it's to tell you you could have watched it live. Dum dum. Thursday at 3 p.m. Central, right here on the Rooster Teeth site, or on our phone and living room applications. That's on here every week, and I never say it. The living room applications? No, just the whole thing about, hey, if you're watching it, watch it live. I don't yeah. I just but say, if you're I, not here now, you missed it. I just say just watch it on Rooster Teeth. Hands, I see, then, those oh, hands. I see those hands. Oh. Uh, I'd say go back in time and watch it if you can. Bring oh. this media with you back in time and watch it then and yeah. ruin the time. I'm going to be <laughs> Kang the viewer, oh. where Ooh. I will time travel just to make sure I see everything. Oh, my God. With my little Hermione Granger time turner. You checking out? You peeping the merch? I was looking at it. You yeah. Cry? Yeah. It's good. Peeping that, that hey. merch. I'd like to be. Trevor's hey. a little crazy. But I, I, listen, it ain't my crew. I can't yeah. just, I can't, I can wear the merch. We can all vote. wear the merch and feel it's cool. two thirds of a vote. I don't know. Exactly. Trevor, I don't know if I can just insert myself. Here's the thing. You're not, I don't, I can't officially say you're in the Crybaby crew. That's not my crew mm-hmm. to, you know, gatekeep in. But sure. I will say, you kind of fall into an awesome line where, as manager of Achievement Hunter, you have to be cry official. Often. That too. Cry yeah. very often. Very a lot. Often. Sometimes I console <laughs> you. Sometimes I choose not sometimes to. Sometimes tears of joy. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yeah. tears Mostly of not. Mostly sadness. Say. Tears of anger. I was going to say, yeah. you... you Remove yourself from the managerial position sometimes, though, and you become much like the Crybaby crew. You just kind of like become a kid again. You analyze like, yourself like for comedy. Trevor, it's I'm great. I'm mostly outside of the manager role. I like when That's Trevor, goes, Trevor goes, <laughs> hey, this is, we got to do this. And then he walks over and goes, no. Yeah. Fuck you, no. man. I'm like Bruce Banner, and where I, like I have to hook, and then what happens I, is some khakis, some pleated khakis, whoa. come whoa. up my legs, oh and, my then I, and then a polo goes, and then I clip my brown leather tie. That's your Iron Man front. suit, yeah. And that's and yeah, I guess it's my yeah. Bruce Banner Iron bag. Man combo. That's I good. have to manage her up, but that's my secret. I it's feel done. like it's very um, internal, right? And it happens where you 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 internal and bob and weave, but you yeah. bob and weave where you can see Trevor, you know, yeah. like doing both. But never was it more, in my opinion, a physical representation of when we were waterboarding each other. Yeah. <laughs> and Trevor got there late, and he's like, "What are you doing?" It was kept, no late. I was photo well, shooting. I'm saying you just uh, walked upon it. You got it late, as in after the video started. Sure. You what? You happened upon it. So I was going rrr, 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 <laughs> outside, <laughs> jump, five gallon jugs of water. And you're going, "What are you doing?" Like yeah. Ten minutes cuts. later, you're going. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> in the edit, it's beautiful because you just come up and go, "What the hell?" In the edit, it's cut. A <laughs> like, there, was, so there was a couple here. minutes. And the transition in real time. Well, it's like I went from like a less insane portion of the company where I was hanging out. I think I don't remember who it was all with, but Barbara was there, Wes was there, a couple other folks were there for 
some merch shoot in the park. It might have been Barbara's line. And so we were out at, at the park to do that, came back. So it's very like, oh, just hanging with the friends doing the shoot. And then come back and I turn and I look down the parking lot at like row there along the building. And I just see my coworkers and friends all <laughs> dousing each other up the nostrils. Yeah. Straight, true it waterboarding. Was very hot yeah. It was very well, the, the towel. Yeah. But <laughs> and then you got there. Like, what are you doing? And we're all like, <laughs> it's, it's a hot day. <laughs> How did you get? To it's a hot day. We're thirsty. <laughs> I was shook. How did you get from? Hey, I don't let's remember, go do honestly. something with this jug of water to lay down. And let me just waterboard you with this. What, and, yeah. and was it Gavin? The pieces who started? Came together. It was probably I think Gavin. It was Gavin who was like, I can do it. And we're like, I, I don't think you. It was can, probably sir. more like. Can I pull this on your like, face? Oh, drink yeah. Would you? Yeah. How oh, yeah, many yeah. drinks yeah. can you take? Before he never you offers drown? himself yeah. as the first sacrifice. Yeah, he'll right. throw it out to someone. He's like, you try it first, yeah. and then maybe right. I'll, around, maybe I'll do it. I have to give him credit. Gavin will throw himself in front of the line of fire. Oh yeah, like, he's pretty oh, good. Yeah. Someone that. else caught on fire. Yeah, yeah. then uh, round he'll, two. <laughs> he'll bring the idea to the table, and then you'll say, sure, I'll do that. Yeah, he goes, sure, that guy. But like, Gavin's great for a bit. Well, I mean, like even like extra life, like Michael, you and Gavin, you would throw yourselves away. Well, the thing is, he has to at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's required so, by law. Getting waterboarded is like, I guess I'll go. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Not do it? He God. just goes. What? what do you say? Like voluntary waterboarding? We chose to do it. It, it wasn't was forced. Just, upon it was just us. having I just fun, clear off. Yeah. Yeah. On, on, on his day. It was just summer a couple of kids Texas. cooling off. Yeah. In the summer like popping a hydrate. Yeah. You know. And, and, and the, 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 the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or, 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 he felt young again. Guardian. Speaking of cooling off, have you guys gone tubing lately? I have. When was Someone, the last time any of has gone tubing? 2019, maybe 2019. 2019 was the last viable time. Floating the river? Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. When you say yeah. tubing, I yeah, yeah, float the river. river. Yeah. Um, but it might not. I might not have even done it in 2019. Maxie from social media that said was, she was going to, and was like, well, oh hell yeah. That, 2019 was the last year when you just didn't do shit that you could have, just yeah, because yeah. you didn't get around to it. But now you're like, oh my god, I'm yeah, god, yeah, god, do stuff. So probably 2018. 2019 at the earliest there. or latest. Well, also back to back thing, almost back to back pretty much was my pregnancies. So someone in chat was like, wasn't Lindsay pregnant during that whole waterboarding thing? I was like, was I? I don't, <laughs> I, I really don't remember. I feel like I wouldn't do that, but. Mm. I was, I was telling <laughs> you. was very aware of like the things going on in the office. If a moon ball was flying, Lindsay was out. They're we were also all very yeah, aware of it yeah. too for your own sake. So I don't think that you were very flippant with your own health and safety. I don't. Yeah. Imagine. No. It was a moon ball free zone uh, when you stepped into the room. I appreciated so. it a couple times. Uh, where sometimes. I, mm, where it yeah. would be I would retreat. Under a desk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go away. Because that's when you said it, like the the kind of Although, edge. Yeah. So you were definitely in target territory. Then you t sometimes just go under when no other <laughs> things could be done. I just uh, right, down right. and under. I'm here. I'm safe. There were a few days where I came in. and I was like, all right, cut the shit. <laughs> Today is a no nonsense pregnancy mm -hmm. day. Man, there there was. Uh, I was talking to someone the other day. They're like, what's the weirdest thing you've done? And I'm like, uh, one time I locked a pregnant woman into a gas chamber <laughs> and threw oh, and threw oh, yeah. stink bombs right. in with her. Yeah. I'm like what? I'm like, yeah, like a like a murder gas chamber. Right. And they're mm -hmm. like, yeah, people died. What? I didn't. So. We know. Are you a ghost? Yeah. We know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Until I do. I'm so go watch. Go watch Haunter. Today. Maybe we'll get another season out of it. I'm also drinking. Probably. So I'm gonna be very red very like quickly. So I already did, and, and like they got really excited. And I was like, ah. Uh, like there was a post on Reddit a long time ago, uh, months maybe. Definitely days ago. The uh, minutes where yeah, like. I, I told people to be loud about Haunter because we wanted to come back, and, and, and it might come back in some iteration. It's just something I can't promise. But like, I'm, I was really happy to see Haunter being season loud about three, it. 2022, coming at you. What is it? Warner Discovery. We might. What's here's the, new, the thing. We new, might. Like, what are we working for now? I, who owns us? I don't yeah. know. Uh, but <laughs> but at the end of the day, thanks um, for the acquisition, that's a Disney. Real We're question. excited. Um, we might be able to do like one-offs or something, or like specials or, or something. Um, we should do a special one. But I don't want to promise like it. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. A special. Well, it's like season one off. Fabello, right. an annual seasonal one off. So I went to uh, I went to an Austin FC game with Daniel Fabello. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, and we were just talking like in FC like him, him and uh, him and Jeff had some great ideas for like Haunter season three, four, and then five, and kind of like where the show would lead into. Yeah, someone and, was gonna die. So there. No, I mean that was part of the plan. <laughs> for what it's worth, not to spoil anything, but yeah, part of the part of the plan was doing some little goofy. I want to haunt you. Hell yeah! That'd be fun. <laughs> Incredible. The, the finale of season three was one of us was going to flatline and see if we could converse oh. with the ghosts as a dead person. Yeah. And we'd have minutes or seconds to come. I've back. already adopted yeah. my ghost children. I feel like I should be the one to die to talk to them to relay the messages to you to actually get the evidence we but need. But you have living, living real. children. <laughs> soul, 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 soul <laughs> you have living children. You're like, no, but my dead children. <laughs> my ghost too. children. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's no time. <laughs> no time. Uh, there's, pl there's plenty of time. It's been a while. No time. <laughs> I, also, I imagine you talking to Daniel Fabello and Jeff about this, about like, you know, you hear stories about like crooked firefighters who start the fires so that they can get all the glory. Backdraft like, the movie. Exactly. Usually, yeah. it's, okay, usually it's people that couldn't make it to the fire department. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. they, they, they're they, not good They, they want to watch the fire. Uh -huh. And they're, they're, it's like hard. Okay, so take that really. <laughs> <Be a> fireman. <laughs> Is that something you just go, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so take that yeah. really John, fucked up idea. <laughs> water that down for comedy. What if we just like. What if we haunt the places ourselves and then we go to haunt them? Well, that's a movie, isn't it? What is it? Where they fake the ghost hauntings. Shit. You're talking about. <sighs> Come on, help me out. No, you, no, no, you're talking about. Faking the, the ghost. Uh, yes, yeah, and then they make a business um, about it. It's, Shit. Um, Mar not Martin space. McFly, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Um, you know, seances in the early 1900s. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's the yeah, thing. No, no, no. Yeah, Frighteners, uh, like, yeah, uh, like uh, Michael J. Fox. Fox. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of his name. He's buddies with some dead guys. He's like a fake medium. Yeah, but so like, medium. But but the the catch is he really can see ghosts. So he yeah. like he like works with the ghosts to go fuck up people's houses. So then he can exercise. It's like a con man. Gotcha. Except he really can see ghosts and the ghosts are real. And he goes, ooh, all right, yes. they're gone now. It's a con. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, ooh. But then there's like hey, a murderer. Get, yeah. It's a pretty yeah. Jake Busey. Yeah, that's that's uh, Peter Jackson made that movie. Hmm. And so, anyway, so, I assume that's what you're. Yeah, right. same film. thing. Great but film. as Jack is talking to someone who's like, "My house is haunted. This is horrible." I'm behind them, like knocking shit over. And he's like, <laughs> "Just with a stick." This yeah, it's doing great. Everyone, <laughs> if everyone that died became a ghost. It would be a very crowded. That's I mean, the, what the I always say. Crowded, but if you could see all dead people everywhere. and all dead people see. became ghosts, could you imagine? You're like, ghosts. you're like, hold on, so I can't see the camera. You're like, there's nothing there. Oh, there's ten people though. just yeah. here. I did. Just have a thought pop into my head. Boy, I'd love another haunter esque scenario just to be in now that I'm fueling up on X Files. I can oh, have so much oh, man. Though. I'm almost I'm in the season three. Nice. I'm tearing through it. Yeah. Dude, so. You know what's uh on HBO Max, Warner shout out, uh Wellington Paranormals on there now. Mm. Which is the Taiko Watiti Jermaine Clement oh, show. Yeah, well, we it's, the it's, it's the spin off oh, yeah. of What We Do in the Shadows. I want to see that. Which That's is the right. two the two cops from What right. We Do in the Shadows who were just throwaway characters and they got their own series now. They're like, They've done awesome. three seasons and they're just now airing in the States. So. Where they go, like, what are we? Werewolves. What aren't we? Swearwolves. Werewolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or was that? Brit. Yeah. yeah. That was the movie. I mean, yeah, those I, are the I, werewolves. I, I, yeah. We're yeah. werewolves, yeah. not swearwolves. Which that actor whose name escapes me, I'm horrible. Reese Darby. Yeah, he was in Flight of the Concords with them and that's how they met and started working together. He's really. He's Murray. Yeah. Murray. Yeah. Roll Murray. call. Yeah. Brit. There's Present. also Zane. the banker Mary. in Yes Men. And oh. Voltron. <coughs> yeah. He was a Voltron. He was mm. Norm. The new one. Like, anyway, Norman great show. Favorite. Check it out. HBO Max. Roosterteeth.com slash like HBO Max. Are we sponsored by HBO Max? I, them, does that work? Them specifically, it's, somewhere. It's it, in there. Somewhere. HBO Max.com slash RTTV. We That's work for nothing. the ghosts. I don't think that works. The legion uh, of ghosts here. I just want glasses I can huh. put on and see the sea of ghosts and then take them off when I don't okay. want to well, see them. I, I, like, I sort so of like, like uh, 13 ghosts. <laughs> yes. Which I've seen like 13 times and it's Whoa. not better any live. other time. Yeah. It's just that it shows you up just, on the television and I go, it's happening. And I just sit back and I watch. You'll appreciate this. So Universal Studios, they do the Halloween Horror Nights yes. stuff. This year, they just announced today that The Exorcist is going to be one of the haunted houses, Ooh. but they're doing Haunting of Hill House. House. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah. yeah. And everyone's so going to be faceless. Maybe I'm we'll get a Bly Manor and we can fly Rahul out with this. And yeah. Go check it out. That'd, That'd be, be fun. Sick. Cool. sick. I was still, I mean, like, the, the bit of FOMO that I had has worn down, but I was heavy homo, or uh, heavy homo, <laughs> and FOMO, both. Listen. You slip of the fine. tongue, but <laughs> Freudian yeah. slip. Freudian Listen, slip. It's talking to some people online and stuff about just being pride positive. Just get, get out <laughs> yeah. of this conversation, Lindsay. Yeah. Pull away. Come on, right. get back to where so, you were. Yeah. In this FOMO. That's fine. Yes, I had FOMO and a little bit of lack of homo in my life for not going with you guys to the Stanley Hotel whenever you were checking oh, yeah. out. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's that so really cool. cool. Oh, yeah. Like I've been there before, but they had the whole experience going along with um, the movie. Yeah, you, yeah, Dr. you, Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep. Yep. you ruined it. I finished yeah. the. You were gonna go, and you had to do like. Uh, the convention. Oh, yeah, right. I so. oh my yeah. god, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I, I was, it was, was I a last minute ad or was it? Was it like, don't remember. Be you and Barbara and me, mm -hmm. and you guys couldn't go. Yeah. They it was actually going to be Barbara and, Barbara because, and I, then you and Lindsay. Because, yeah. you know, like the Ruby tie-in. I'm the Jack. Ruby, <laughs> and it was like, oh, well, they can't go. And I was like, well, why the fuck would I go? Yeah. If they're not well, going. Ruby, <laughs> kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was, that was an awesome event. That's where rotting corpse we watched the movie, ago. and they had like an after party, <laughs> and like the director was there. Hey, and hey. 
<laughs> what, what, what was the actress's name? The the girl in the movie. Of course, it escapes me right oh, now. Too, but she is a fan oh, of. Oh, brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah up. And so we. we I can't remember my own name, it. dude. The the three of us. She's in a she's in a new show on Disney at the Secrets of Sulphur Springs, which you, you should talk. check out. I'll look it up. Uh, yeah, but yeah. anyway, the uh, so it was, it was Alfredo, Trevor, and myself, and they had like this after party, and we ended up meeting her. It was like, oh hey, you want to meet the actress? We're like, oh yeah, hey, nice to meet you. We're like, we're from Rooster Teeth. She goes, okay, cool, nice to meet you. All right, that because I'm sure she met a billion people that sure. night. Kylie and, Curran. Kylie, yes. And so afterwards, like. Like her handler came up and she said, oh wait, she realized that Rooster Teeth was Ruby, can you go talk to her again? And we went back, she's like, oh Jack my went, god, I, I love Ruby! Geez. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, yes. ta, ta, ta. yeah. I, no, I, I had like, I said um, that Barbara was was Yang, and I literally, because of that, we found out that she was like an actually very big fan, and so I messaged Barbara, and I was like, oh, like, if you want to say something, I'll commune it through me. And, and she Whoa. was like, like a channel. Yeah. she was so sweet. She was like the most wholesome, like, young actress, and uh, and she was just like, Gobsmacked because I was like, Yeah, I work with Lindsay, Ruby, but also like Barbara says hi, like shout out, and she's like, Oh my god, it's like she was yeah. so nice. Yeah. And what was really cool was that Emerald, if you're not aware, uh, is a pretty big piece. Like, there's Ruby posters in the movie, but at some point when she's kind of doing like a dream hopping court kind of thing, and no spoilers, but like she's got the Emerald wig on, and that was mm -hmm. all the actors so she has wanting. She's the figurine yeah. next to her on her nightstand. Yeah, because yeah. that's so. your favorite character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we saw the trailer and we we're like, oh, it's kind of cool that we're gonna have some Ruby stuff in there. We had no idea it was, it was gonna be to was the like, level. It was, it was. Yeah, yeah. No, she, so she cool. was the one that had asked for it, and um, she's got the poster really above cool. her bed. Like you flop on your bed and you look at the people you look up to, and it's Team Ruby. I'm like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's so cool. But yeah. Anyway, that was fun. That's cool. Also watching that movie. I mean, not to like be too intense about it but watching it like you guys will understand you see actors and sometimes like with age ranges of actors if they're a little younger you can you can tell they're figuring it out you go okay they're like, looking at the, the boom mic yeah or maybe hitting their mark okay like she was Spider awesome lens. like yeah. i love dr sleep but that was fantastic i really liked um, it was weird that though okay. like most scenes ewan mcgregor just had his mouth open so. <laughs> he's a mouth breather <laughs> yes yeah. i get it my nose is always clogged you do that. <laughs> it's all good <laughs> But anyway, uh, watch Haunter a whole lot and tell everyone that, mm -hmm. tell, that uh, reach out to HBO Max and be like, hey, there's this show called Haunter that you guys should pick up and run a new yeah. season on. Send us to the Stanley movie. Hotel. I want to be movie. home. Dr. Good. Yeah. Let's go. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Omen. If you're like me, and hopefully you're not, you've had it up to here with random players bursting in your group chat whenever you and your friends are gaming online. All right? You don't want that. Just do what I did. Get your own slice of paradise in the wasteland that can be online gaming. Get your own private Oasis. Oasis is a free and easy to use add-on for the Omen Gaming Hub that creates a virtual room for you and up to 15 of your friends for private gaming and watch parties. But Oasis isn't just any virtual room. With low latency, screen sharing, and seamless audio quality, you can quit worrying about technical difficulties, stop arguing over who has the worst internet connection, and just get to playing already. And because you can use voice, or text chat while you share your screen or play along with someone else's, Oasis is the best way to hang out online. Make sure you have the Omen Gaming Hub installed, then get the Oasis add-on to build your own gaming paradise. Play together, watch together, share together, all with o Oasis, Oasis by Omen. Download Oasis on the Omen Gaming Hub and try out the beta now. That's Oasis, not Oasis. It was a really I cool place. That's I was geeking out hard because I love The Shining, and I had actually read Doctor Sleep, and um, and so Jack, you actually re I rewatched The Shining like that week actually, and then you had watched The Shining in the Stanley yeah, Hotel in, in my hotel room. Like, I was watching it, which is so cool. Yeah. Awesome. It was like I mean, we always try to like when we're working with sales or whatever, um, try to identify when we do these bigger uh, things like these. Di 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 I don't know if there's a label for it, but when we do these higher budget or more intense, more custom stuff, like when we travel somewhere, I have to make a unique video. Like we always try to make the sure deliverable. that the deliverable, yes, the deliverable. Oh. We try to make sure that they fit us. And so when they were like, as soon as they were like, "Do you guys are you interested in Doctor Sleep?" I was like, "Fuck yes!" I was like, <laughs> I was already wrapping up the book at that time. Yeah. Um, and so that was that, and like it. We were so privileged yeah. to do cool. really cool stuff yeah. about. Um, Never read Doctor Sleep. Like Love The Shining. That's cool that you got to watch it in the hotel. Yeah, too. that was pretty neat. And <laughs> it, was, it, okay. it was literally snowing when we got there too. And I got to my room, and for yep. some reason, my window was open in my room. Dude, that place and was, it was ice cold. Yeah. It was like pockets of like super hot, then pockets of very cold. Are yeah. you sure those weren't the ghosts? Maybe. Yeah. That's, That's when I tried. To, I tried to. Uh, cold I tried to curse uh, <laughs> Ryan and uh, who's the dude from uh, the uh, the Ryan Vergara and Shane. Yeah. Hidea? Yes. 
I tried Buzzfeed to get Unsolved Boys. Cause, yeah, because mm. we get they were there as well covering the movie, Did and we were there. Me, and uh, you're a big fan of those guys, and I was like, yeah. I didn't know who they were, and so I was like, at one point they gave us like this quartz that was like under the hotel, and apparently like, it's super charged. We gave haunted. them the quartz, and so I just was like, here you go, you guys can take this, and like their handle was like, no, 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 that's super haunted. Oh yeah, like they spoiled yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Their tour guide, who was phenomenal by the way, you'll probably see him in their video, but like he was like, no, 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 you don't want that. I'm like, I, <laughs> I do. That was the bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even if it is haunted, give it to me. The, basically, they say that the quartz that's in the dirt and in the stone underneath the facility, which you can just walk into like a cave, uh, the quartz absorbs that life energy or that that kind of, which would then be the spiritual energy of yeah. the place. And yeah. so, like, if you were to take any of that, there's a lot of stories, a lot of anecdotes of people leaving, getting the into car wrecks along the way, yeah. plane crashes. Whatever. So I was trying to like put some in Alfredo's hood and stuff, Smart. and make him walk mm -hmm. out with what's, it without realizing. There's the what's the case that uh, allegedly like Post Malone has in his house because he's best friends with Zach Big and Marcellus Wallace's soul. Sure, Bates. yes, <laughs> that's I, I'm a ideal. Baster. But I tweeted about it because people were like, oh, will they or will, won't they open this case that's supposedly like super haunted? And they're like, at, at the end of the episode of like whatever haunting show they had, they ended up not Ghost doing Adventures? it. Ghost Adventures? Probably, probably. Go, probably yeah, Ghost Adventures. Yeah, he had some sort of super thing, up. and yeah. it wasn't even just the show. He made like a was, whole yeah. event out of it. And it's like it's a like, sponsor I thing. won't open it. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I go, let me, let it'll, me open it. I'll do it. I'll open it right now. Release demons into the world. I know we had the, call me Pandora, baby. Something like that. There was a demon house. Like when I was at Purdue, like, an hour north uh, towards... Um, Was it a fraternity? No. Uh, <laughs> an hour north, maybe two hours north. Uh, I, I, why am I blanking on it? Um, Gary, Indiana. There's oh. a house where there was this like big... Like haunting, a, po a possession, kids walking up and down the walls in the hospital. Classic. Apparently a lot of eyewitnesses to this event. You standard stuff. You, sta you saw yeah. some stuff. <laughs> Bagans bought that house, made a whole meal out of it. And it was a very similar thing. I don't know, he's like... I'm not gonna let anyone else investigate this house. Does a whole documentary out of it to, to make some money off of it, which is fair. Puts it on Amazon and then demolishes the house. Oh, wow. Um, and I'm like, that's a great way to basically have no one else come through and be like, I don't know what that guy was seeing, but this <laughs> house is just Or even old. just the, like. <laughs> it's just an old house. Like, coattail, his thing. Oh, Zach Bagans was here. Yeah. yeah. Like, the hell he was. Right. Like, well, just the hell I house. was and just like yeah. bring it out. Footprint. Every, every yeah. house he's ever lived in. <laughs> Everywhere <laughs> I go. <laughs> I always thought about canonical. You don't want him coming to your restaurant. I'll tell you, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, sir, sir. Yeah. Drive through, this, please. This is my table. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, uh, believe it or not, uh, like, if you're superstitious, a little stitious, no stitious, um, the, man, the, the, man, the man makes some compelling content. And, like, he, he either knows how to sell it or he truly is very, in, like, ingrained in his own beliefs. Like, so, like, regardless of my disposition, watching that doc was, like, or his, yeah, I guess it was a doc, was it was really interesting. Um, but, you know, it's Zach, so there's some, like, cheesy goofs in there. Oh, yeah, and, of and, like, mm, Cheesy goofs. Mm, cheesy goofs, yeah. but. I thought about that, like, canonically, you brought up a good point about, like, bulldozing a house. That's usually, like, what they say at the end of a lot of movies or shows. Like, if there's a haunted house, just, like, you've got to demolish, we got to get rid of the house, we got to burn it, we got to do something, get rid of it. I'm like, wouldn't the ghost just still, like, hang out in that plot and go, like, what the fuck, man, my house is gone. Well, they moved, like, the, they moved the tombstones, but they didn't move the, the actual exactly. caskets and the bodies. Exactly, they're still oh, there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah, they're still there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What do they haunt then? Have you seen Ghost Story? I was trapped in a plane for 16 hours, so I did. And uh, with Casey Neifleck, not Neifleck, Casey. You were trapped Neistat? in a plane? Casey Neistat? No. Yeah, Casey like, Affleck. Insane. I combined the oh, names. Yeah, yeah. Casey yeah. Affleck so was the, the was ghost. Oh, is that the one where he was like yeah. a ghost with a sheep or some yeah. weird yeah. shit? Yeah. yeah. But like, like what, some, someone, someone told me that. Pie. Someone said that, and I went, oh, it's a comedy? And they went, no. Weird. And it's like the slowest, like. And so I didn't watch it. I mean, it was it was a decent movie, but it definitely felt like, oh, this is like someone's college film. You know, it was like, okay, so it was like artsy for the sake of being artsy and it's like I enjoyed it right. having come out of it like there was definitely lulls and I kind of skipped forward some of the longer scenes much to the artist's chagrin but um, anyway that kind of addresses that very same thought because like over the course of the film no spoilers like the house is eventually gone and replaced with a high-rise I think the place gets like made into a city or or developed in some way mm -hmm. and this ghost then ends up being in that building like up you just see him in a window at one point. The ghost, every time you see it, is just literally Casey uh, with two holes in a sheet, like, just kind of stood there. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I love and so that. it's like, there's definitely a, <laughs> something this. funny about it, yeah. but, but also, like, uh, it definitely takes its time as a film. So you, so you really, um, 
wade into their emotions. It feels you're, like you're they're basking in the feeling. Classic feel. I think yeah, so. Like a Napoleon Dynamite. They're like really stretching go, out the emotions. Do they at least like yeah. draw <laughs> facial expressions with a marker? Like a funny <laughs> face. Uh, and a ghost, you know, I'm trying to think. Smile. At any point after, like once once the the ghost shows up, do yeah. we see the person who is the ghost from that point, or is it all the sheet from I, that point on? I think it may have just been the sheet from that point. I on. don't remember because I think what happened is it's time becomes very nebulous. Yeah. And so yeah, it lo like loops back around. So I think there is. They either fold back on themselves and then imply that the ghost and, and the main person share the timeline together, but I don't think you see them at the same yeah. time. I, I can't remember, honestly. It I was, love it was a while ago. Roles too for different movies. Like, like Beetlejuice is one that comes to mind that's very similar to that. Yeah. Like you're watching this new family move in and take over and ruin the lives of these ghosts that are actually very nice. The villains of that movie are the people moving in, but we'll talk about that later in like an analysis of the film. Um, but I, I totally resonated with them showing like them going to the afterlife in the Beetlejuice mm -hmm. world, which is like their DMV parody. Mm -hmm. um, and they come back and like so many years have passed and I'm like, oh, what happened? I'm like, well, you're a ghost. Like why, why would it play in real time like we yeah. experience it? That totally makes sense to me. I love that. Speaking yeah. of Beetlejuice, that's another haunted house at Universal oh, uh, the Halloween Horror Nights. Just saying, just saying. We have time to go. I think we can make the trip. Now? Yeah, right now. If we go now? Can we, right can now? we get a bus? Can we get the, can we get the oh, old, bam. the age live bus <laughs> and, and just take it to yeah. Orlando? No. Okay. Just take everyone. <laughs> um, I want to Put your manager pants on. Oh, yeah, I got a happen. very wrinkly shirt. Thanks for noticing, chat. Um, yeah, they've noticed as soon as we started. If we do another season What happened was, uh, for sure. you didn't iron it. That's what no, happened. No, of course. It, I, I dried it and I threw it into a pile. Uh, the pile has yet to be sorted Foolish. and folded. Um, I mean, well, even, you don't, even so you when take you... take it out of the dryer and put on a hanger immediately? Oh, see, I don't Usually I do, but because we had a lot of extra money Merch coming in, and I was changing in and out for RTX. I think, well, Jack I, like, didn't I get just, any of the merch. I just built up a giant pile. Because normally, it. Didn't get it. I do one load uh, per week. Everything I've worn in that week washed, so I can like not think about it. It so makes you, it just easier to conquer. But I had like four or five loads to do, and, and so I just said, "Fuck it, you're dry. Okay. Poof. You're dry. Poof. Uh, the like." So the, you wash your clothes yeah. once a week. Yeah, I mean, whatever I yeah. wore that way. I washed my Once clothes when my basket's full. If yeah, I wore, that's pretty much me. Yeah, that's what I don't I, like I have, waiting. I have three baskets. Oh, I have we so have, much we have, more We have the sock and underwear baskets, basket so. and, like, delicates basket. Then we have the T-shirts basket, which is, oh. like, our thin stuff. And then we have the heavy basket, I don't have oh. which is, like, shit. pants and towels. See, and delicates I'll basket, just I like. wash dirty laundry. I'll do no. pants load. If there's enough, I'll, I'll separate it. I don't in, separate in, shit. But but normally I don't. Items, colors, I don't give a fuck. It all goes in together. Yeah. What year is it? Cold water. Cold, cold. Delicate, cold water. Send it. I don't cold do water delicate, every time. but I do, I think cold, 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 cold I don't cold like water. my shit shrinking. Cold normal wash. Yeah, I don't want shrinkage. Also, do, for me, the non -delicate only- non-delicate shrinks it, or are you referring to what? the cold? The cold is good. Cold. Right. Like the sh the, oh, the yeah, delicate is just for and like, then, it gets agitated and wears your shit down yeah. faster. And then you dry it. You dry it, you you dry it low heat. No, low heat. No. It takes longer, but it makes it not shrink. Well, no, y'all don't deal with us conscious about my wrinkles. Do we have What I like about the hard dryer is it's, Got a heat sensor, mm -hmm. so if it's dry, it just turns off. Too. Oh, that's cool. So it's like so we don't set the house dude. on fire. Well, not only that, but it doesn't run extra for no reason. It mm. doesn't. Nice. It's not like the clothes is dry and now it's just fucking no, it's going, yeah. and going and going yeah. and shrink. That's that's right. I think where a lot of shrink comes in too. Right. Um, it's got like timer settings, but the only time we ever have to use them is like when you have a big fucking blanket or comforter. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise the outside gets. Baking well, hot in the well, inside. Well, yeah, so the sensor's like, it's dry, and it's like sopping wet. I gotta like <laughs> unfold it, it right. put it back in, take it out, Dude. move it around, put it back in. I, I used to like damp dry, so that's why I like those sensors, but now I just hang it all on this little thing. Regardless, uh, we, it, when we moved into our place, who had ever been there before, I guess maybe never cleared out the uh, the vent or whatever. Oh, yeah, you gotta, I've you never had that be an issue at any clean. place I've ever lived. But like they must never cleaned it because we put in a new dryer and it would always trap. come up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'd always have to run the dryer twice to make it dry. And it would always say like when we first moved in, it was like error D80. And oh, it was like it means airflow. it's 80%. Then it got all the way up to like 90 or 95. I'm like, the place is going to burn down. <laughs> That's, That's not good. So like I, uh, I got one of those like. I just got a bunch of these segment rods, mm -hmm. so you like you put on two feet and, and the, oh, I straight up just like undid yeah. a coat hanger and went here we go. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was like it was so satisfying to like to drill out or like basically you get this like bristle on a drill and just like grind it all out and you get so much crud out of that because now our dryer's back up to snuff. Nice. nice. Throw stuff in there 
and a boom. Did you find One any load. missing socks that were thin enough to make it into the lint trap? Because I've found, I found a few in there. Not yeah. down in there. I haven't looked yet. I'm sure there's some, but I've I did find plenty of socks back behind. If and when you have baby socks too, those things like get lost in dryers like crazy. Yeah, like oh, tiny yeah. socks. Big. Yeah, I'm like bye. I've seen so baby socks are about an inch smaller than the socks you wear. This is true. I like ankle socks. And Michael um, tells me I wear socks for children. I, maybe I, I don't, do. And no, it's not ankle <laughs> socks. I wear ankle socks. It's the They're size of them. <laughs> ankle socks doesn't mean tiny. Ankle socks means they go up to your ankle. Do you like wear them right now? Them yeah. like they, 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 you hear threads you popping wear as you put them on. Tiny, <laughs> tiny socks. See, that's a normal sock you're wearing this is, now. You're gonna show yeah. off a normal sock. No one can see that. No one Alleged can see normal socks. Sock. Dude, yeah, I'm not gonna show my socks off. I got those medium ankle socks. They're awesome. Um. Thank you. Like, That's Jack, a, I don't, hey, I don't want socks. Why your shoe off? Look at my ankle, Jack. Look at my ankle, Jacqueline. Your back is turned. Uh, hey, right there. That's Tyler's what I want, right there. Yeah. Why, why you gotta show me that? Steam you mean, I'll steam. 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 You don't steam. <laughs> you don't fucking steam. I'll steam it while he's wearing it. I don't be screaming. But your skin will be so smooth. It looks so good, though. Damn, your skin's not wrinkly at all. No, I moisturize. Here's why I show you, Jacqueline. Did that look like a sock for a child? Okay, again, but you own normal pairs. That doesn't undo the baby. Socks, you are showing off hey, socks? These are most of my socks. Don't show off your no, socks. You know what? I will say, put your, so is, put your feet away, put your socks this away. This is frustrating. I just want to show you. Right? So, put your it. shoes on. I I put, I nobody, I we, nobody nobody want to see on. it. We don't want to smell it. I put my socks on this morning. I, then I put I started to put my shoe, put my left shoe on, and then I put my I was about to put my right on, and I was checking because uh, my dogs have dragged some stuff in the house, and I was like oh, I was gonna wipe my foot, and I looked, and there was an L on my bottom on the bottom of my right sock, and I was like oh shit, did I put these on backwards? Yeah. And so I took off my shoe and I looked. Two L's. Two L's. Oh. For large. Why would you put <laughs> Why would you put an L on a sock? That's weird. Sounds like you're taking that. That's L. weird. Yeah. I have I have okay, so I have some why would asymmetric you put an L socks. On there? Oh, sock like, dog. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Sock, sock, five minutes sock, 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 sock. The sound, it's the smell. Hi, it's the suit. I haven't thought of the smell. Uh, I have some, a couple smell. of asymmetric socks for like sports or whatever, arch support. And yeah, it says it like above the toe, like mm. right here. That makes sense. Yeah. Don't label the outside of my sock with the size, you fool. I bought it in the size that I wanted and I don't. I can forget it from there. From yeah. my knowledge of sockery, usually the left or right sock indicator is at the top of the sock next to your pinky toes respectively, and that tells you what foot each sock is meant to go on. Yes. This is a fact, Michael, it's a sign. I want science. toe socks. Here's, Let's bring those back. What yeah. socks? Toe socks. If the socks have like an L or an R on them, I'll wear them. Yeah. On the appropriate foot. What if, if they, they both have L's? I mean, <laughs> if they don't, I don't care. If they both have L's, who cares? You. It's not a shoe. You can put a right sock on a left foot. But then oh! Oh! Line oh! Is like you crooked. start screaming. You wear it too long, it's like braces though. I know Your it's foot wrong. starts to. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's true. Oh, when yeah. you wear baby socks. Yeah, you My go. right foot became a left foot. What's the thing like, you know, uh, like, uh, Ancient put history. Down. Put your foot down. No, even, they're not even showing your foot. Yeah, that. your That's a foot. We're showing, showing your ancient feet. history. Jack's something shoes else. are pretty cool too. I'm all about them. All about those shoes. My butt. Oh yeah, I've got my, my uh, Lego ancient shoes. history. Like obviously, I mean, there dots. were shoes in ancient history, but a, like prehistory, uh, prehistoric uh, human. Prehistory. Yeah, <laughs> bear with me. I'll figure all out. All right, the we're sentence. getting there. I got you. Uh, yeah, like socks and shoes like constrain our foot, and so that gives us our traditional shoe foot shape. Shoe right? foot shape. But uh, but shoe apparently, shape. so baby baby socks are probably exacerbating that because right. otherwise the human foot kind of sprawls out, and the toes are a little bit like it's more it, square no, and like you, more spread out. And like, could you make like a baby foot? Could you treat like a bonsai tree where you shape it, like get a well, shoe yeah, that's, that's like that, I mean, you can make it like, like a claw. That's, yeah, that's yeah. A cool like, historically, thing. yes. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Me Undies. Quick question, y'all ready to jam? Because Me Undies sure is, you've heard me say it before. I love Me Undies, they're soft, breathable, and they always have them in the design and colors I want. Or sometimes I don't know what I want, and they're just there waiting for me. Beautiful, uh, that one. Me Undies has their new Space Jam prints out now featuring Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and other iconic characters who are all tuned up and ready for a rematch. MeUndies are made from micro-modal fabric, which is not only soft, but breathable, light, and impossibly cozy. Check out their new Space Jam collection in the softest undies, socks, bralettes, dog hoodies, and loungewear available in sizes extra small to 4XL. Here's your chance to score their new collection 
before the clock runs out. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. That's you. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. Oh, nice. Oh, oh we, we got the steamer. Some Moonball merch. You can change your shirt, is what he's implying. Do you remember? Yeah, there's Liz, debates oh, about the no, ethics. No, 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 no. Of, yes, you can. It's not going to come out like so skull. Okay. Do you bet it will. Do you remember? I've seen school. things before. Oh, whatever. That's a lot of. That's what a do you lot, mean there's a lot of ends. Is there water in there? Give me the world's longest extension. There's, there's a plug right there. Plug right there. I'll watch Trevor cook himself. Do you remember Bonsai Kittens? It was a, it was an internet thing from I, forever ago. I feel like you said some, two words in my brain that went, yes, we do know this, but how? It, it how was a we joke website it's where cats, people right? were like yeah. putting cats in like containers and then feeding them, and That's they would funny. grow That's like large. shapes. That's it's funny. totally fake, but people That's bought funny. it. Like it's just to wear for a second. This was probably the how pre cat you, bread you, phenomenon. Of all? Second yeah. of all, cat bread. Yeah. Oh, like they'll put on their face. Well, that, and then you'd put cats inside of bread containers, like bread boxes, and they fill the container because cats are liquid. So cats are liquid. Actually, anyway, friend. what has this podcast become? I don't know. You guys are all talking about feet and socks. Ooh, and has it Trevor come? doesn't want to take his shirt off to steam. Maybe Why does Jack always go back to shaping babies as they grow? Was a question. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's my thing. Yeah, what can but you the, say? But you the know, thing about, about it is, like, I think most people think of shaping babies as like stop mental. shaping babies. Yeah. You know, crafting them but you're talking about physically. Like physically yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. actually like form them. Okay. Cool. Control you. Yeah. Oh, this one just, oh, so just now, blasts yeah. off. You know, there's no like trigger for it. I don't know. I mean, Close. you got to fill it with water, don't you? If this. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Guess what? It's filled with water. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get. There's oil. water in that, by the way. Well, yeah, oh, but now I'm, it's gonna I'm be boiling. Is it hot yet? I'll meet you halfway. No. I don't know how. Hot steam near the nozzle. Do not touch. Do not touch. But blast with shirt on. Yeah. Yes. I, it'll be fine. It cools down in the what? inch. Hey, in the inch. I'm not worried. The pain means it's working. I know you're just gonna run that over your microphone, and Mike's gonna well, scream yeah, I won't in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna hear. <laughs> yeah. As it, as it. Ooh. Somebody's gonna have to peel oh, that shit off. It's of steaming. You. Here it comes. Well, I love this sound. Ooh. It's a good sound, right? It is a good gurgle. It makes me think of coffee being brewed. Right. Makes like me that. think wait, of mac and wait, cheese. Wait, wait. Hear the sound. Don't do that. A good sound. Don't do that. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. ASMR Let's Play. All right, soon. Mike, kill the mic. All right, here we go. <laughs> Trevor's gonna steam himself. Oh, Trevor. Oh, it's dripping. That's, yeah. It's I'm dripping. Scared. Look, here's the thing. He's either gonna have to scald himself, or it's yeah. just not gonna work. I thought you okay, squeeze so it and like it sprays yeah, out. Yeah, you're not getting enough. Because he's halfway in it. Because he's wearing it. I, I listen. Is Hot it working? Steam will you gotta take it off. Too. Jack, you got a forearm. You ever thing? seen a movie when someone it goes? It's, it's go, ah! I have a forearm. I have forearm tattoos. Yeah. Is this an episode of Ready Set Show? Possibly. It, it could. It could have been. I want a self-steaming suit. Like you put it on Genius. and it psss, on the end, and then you um, like goes out. Part yeah, two. That's smart. That's smart. I might be working well, a little bit. The, it's definitely damp. They make yeah. the back that's of the all you need it to be. I can definitely see your wire, and I yeah, can't yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what I'm going to do is end up steaming the wire into hey, it. Yeah. Gonna be wet. They're going to have to dig that out of your skin. Jack, yeah. didn't Nike release the self-lacing shoes from Back to the Future 2? They did. Sure they, 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 they sold out a very, instantly. very yeah. limited run. Course, yeah, yeah, that sold out crazy. I'm just saying. There's Lego shoes coming next Friday. More Lego shoes coming next Friday. Adidas has got to release some stuff. That's exciting. I'm now totally into shoes, and it's very frustrating because they're expensive. They are. You're, yeah. you're a sneakerhead now? I, mean, I wouldn't call myself a sneakerhead, but I, I enjoy looking at shoes. Sneak well, shoes, like, shoe <laughs> technology has gotten crazy. Like, I just kind of would get the same sort of shit over and over, and now I'm like, oh, my a buddy of mine gave me some good shoes, and I'm like, oh, uh, these are pretty neat. I got some running shoes where, like, the the tongue is, like, built into the shoe. Instead of being, like, a separate piece of fabric, it's, like, all the way to your foot. And even these guys, like, these here, <sighs> Nice. Yes. There's no uh, <laughs> see. There's no. There's no tongue. It's all like one. It's almost like a sock. Yeah, I've seen like those the before. Whole thing. Yeah. Adidas so, definitely does that. Yeah. Is this, is this yeah. a very cool? A, a, Jack. A, um, Jack. These are Ultra Boost. Jack. Ultra Boost. Yeah. I'm right there with you, buddy. There you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, no yeah. Tongue. See, yeah. No I like tongues tongue. anymore. Get rid of those stupid it's tongues. Still a tongue. It's look, just, look at my gel no, pack. It's keep the tongue. Obviously, so I got little gel balls on the bottom for running. See, these are these are shoes that I don't run with. But I could. No tongue works okay with shoes like those, like sneakers like that, your ankle high sneakers. But when you've got some bad Just do it. Oops. 
There we go. You know, just do I'm it. My tongue. We're just right kicking. There. We're just kicking now. My tongue's right here. There's so oh, much tongue. You can tongue. see him better on the Big side. Mm -hmm. Damp on the inside. You can see all the balls. <laughs> right. It's like well, it's like I just better. ran and I'm steamy on the inside. Ooh, steamy now, on Jack, the you're talking about shoes that. Uh, were shaped it helped also. a little. I will say. Yes. If you Shapes could, and feet. I'm not patient enough to keep it going. If we no. could go back and shape Jack's Especially feet, with... though, what do you what are you looking for? What type of? What do you, do you want? Longer feet, shorter oh, feet, wider feet? I would want flat feet. I would want like duck feet. Okay. Longer and pretty cool. Like another arm. No, no, why? Wider and flatter. You want like you want like you flipper. Want to so fast. <laughs> He's gonna kick ass yeah. at the Olympics. Exactly. Swimming. Yeah. Bring it on, Michael. The Olympics like Jack start today, don't they? Or they start tomorrow? Soon. So. Here's what I want: a longer heel that goes backwards. Good luck oh. pushing me over, idiot. You're gonna like stab some. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. Is that a so what will happen is like I can oh. neo from the Matrix. I could go. Oh. Because I'm leaning back on my heels, then I come back up. Reverse Michael Jackson. So when I dodge the punch. Uh huh. Think how cool that would be. Yeah. Yeah. Then I go dodge this. What is it to get back up? Would that be core mm -hmm. strength? It'd be yeah, uh, your quads. I feel like core would kick in at some point. Nicholas? Yeah. Mm. What, what would be kicked in? What, what core Maybe muscle? Both. What core if muscle? You, if you had long heels so you could lean back, I feel like definitely your core. I think core. Like your lower yeah, core, right? right. Yeah, right. Your quads, it would yeah. blend, I think. To pull yourself back up it from would, that lean. It would, it would end on the legs, start on the legs, but I think Calf core. Calf squats? There's got to be some core work there. Yeah, General for core. sure. For the so lap up. Once once you're like somewhat planks. upright, it's all core pulling you forward. Yeah, you it's know? all Legs glute, keep really. Up, I think some glute activations in there. A lot of your calves is what he's saying. If you're leaning back, if you're leaning back all, your, all your weight is true. on your That's calf true. muscle. And you now, what if I've scientifically altered my feet using foot technology that Jack has given me, mm -hmm. and I'm able to stabilize myself with longer feet? Feet by Jack. Like, yeah, thank you. By what if feet were sideways? <laughs> there we go. Or what if they were like an X shape? So they kind of came out. What if you so, just did good mornings? So I'm duck footed, which means I'm I'm like this. There's pigeon toed, which your feet are in, yeah, and duck footed, footed is out. Yeah. So I can put my feet side by side like this, no problem at all. You'd be great at that. I'm, I'm good at I, well, apparently form. like uh, skiing or like uh, like like, uh, like sideways. Uh, what is it? Ice uh, ice skating. It's like oh, that's gotcha. really good because like you can skating? put your feet yeah, out. Yeah, that makes sense. You do a great circle, Jack. Can you do? Can you do it, Trevor? Yeah. There you go. First position. Like, no, you get, there, there you go. Now second position. <laughs> what the hell? Third, fourth position. I, I, know, I, I wasn't going to do it, but after okay. seeing that, I don't want to anymore. I, I didn't know I could do that. I made it happen. That. It's interesting, too. I love stuff like that. Um, Jack, I'm trying to segue here. No worries. People talk about you. We're talking about forming babies, and I understood <laughs> as a, like, from a uh -huh. farming what? standpoint, when uh -huh. you shape vegetables or whatever into certain shapes. Now, with children, there are things that you can do in that sense, like when babies are first born, if you have a bit of a wonky head shape, because babies' heads are not fully formed when they're yeah, born, yeah. their, their skulls are not formed. Make them a cone head if you want. Yeah, you can, you can give them a little, you could make a cone head if you mm -hmm. want to play off of that fantastic 90s movie, great movie. Um, or you could get a helmet Sad that kind of makes it a little bit more round, movie. makes their life mm -hmm. a little bit easier to live, mm -hmm. and helps them with their brain growth. So we are shaping babies Yeah, you don't already, want a tiny basically. skull. No. Are you doing it? You need brain space. You, can you make there? some horns, maybe? I know like, you get, like, little fill in. I, I know you can to. reshape, you know, with like a, a helmet design for the child. Yeah. But are there, and this is a genuine question, is there ways to like, Expand it like oh. to. Is like it, does it? Is it like a cat? Does it fill in the space? I don't know. Oh yeah, know. liquid. It's like you have to like probably baby. like squeeze and pull. You know what mm. I mean? Like you got a massage. Like, massage. It's like dough, basically. Yeah, you got to need it. Brain I would dough. imagine. Mm. Anyway, I won't go. No, please, no. First belt. Who did that? Cut me off. How dare you? It's, you cut oh, Lindsay Brian's off right as they were drooling on themselves. Jesus Christ. Um, what? That's just so rude to interrupt us like that. Anyway, oh, um, first of all, this, hey, thanks, firsties. I'm going to cut the bullshit, though. <laughs> thanks for watching. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch Camp Betrayal. There's two episodes out. What? Right Comes out on Tuesdays. It means next week will be the third episode. If you are in a first member, I think the first episode is out for free. That's true. I'll give you just a little taste, and then we know you'll be hooked on Whatever gotcha. Eric's peddling. I'll uh, tell you, there's nudity in episode five. What? Um, they never cut to me. Anyway, mm -hmm. they didn't cut to you for a reason. <laughs> uh, they might have cut you out. I don't know what yeah, I'm talking about. Your to. mic got turned off and you're being yeah. dragged off the set. Uh, but it's our newest first show airing right now. Right now. This is the time. Uh, plus, you can watch all the other stuff like Haunter and uh, the stuff 
Yep. Like uh, airing at some point after this, Last Laugh season two. Oh yeah! Oh. So if you laugh, uh, if you you're die. You're thirsting for the first. And then in 2022, Haunter season three. I don't know about that. And follow, that. followed Never by Weird Place again. season two. I don't know about oh, that. And immediately in the Weird Place season three. Oh, oh it's it. funny. I had a flub a couple weeks ago doing in this bit where uh, because we had uh, filmed Last Laugh season two. Everyone just kept calling it season two, season two, season two. Like on set, yeah. the shooting. Da, 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 da. Does it have a name? Does it have a different name than season two? No, it was just no. to to, the to clarify it was not season one. It would always be like, sure. okay, so this is the in season two. Gotcha. This is in season two. It was right. just very much like the now. It's mm. just the newest one. And so I did the first thing. I was like, you could watch Last Live season one. And I went, uh-oh. Because <laughs> they hadn't announced it yet, mm -hmm. so then I just went on a tirade about all the shows, but I just kept saying season one. In the moment, it seemed like you've been it. drinking nice. too much. I buried but it. But now you People didn't know. notice. But now I revealed no. a secret. I fucked oh up, my God. and I just said season one by accident Michael. because I had just filmed season two, but it wasn't announced yet. But now the secrets are revealed. Don't no. Ha ha. It's like that show where they show all the magicians' tricks. Yeah, What's I'm yeah. the masked magician. Oh my God. The mask has been removed. Oh, it's that guy? That was just, yeah. just yeah. some guy? Some dude. Oh, that, I don't know who that, who is it? He took the mask off. Who is it? I still have no <laughs> idea. Yeah. I don't, who is this? Is the thing? mask off oh, yet? No. We don't know. Are we, I don't know if we're done with the first plug before I move it along. Uh, you wanna thinking? get back to yeah, shaping babies? We yeah. can get back to that well, if you want. I was wondering, allegedly, like, didn't that guy who hosted that show get threats from other magicians? Like, you ruined my career, Probably. now they know how they do it. I no. mean, like, I, I, it, in the 90s and shit? Maybe. The mass magician that reveals all the tricks? I don't know that he got, like, Who's, Who became threats. famous because of it, whose name is? John Cena. Jack Patilla. Ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, me the whole time. Oh my God, that's the best trick I you've ever 15. done. I was 15. After all these years? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Surprise, <laughs> it was me! <laughs> I ruined your trick. I also shaped your babies. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Just their heads. It's got a, it's got a bone Just mohawk. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, that's kind hey, of Michael, rock, though. Hey, Michael, look at that hoodie behind you on the light. Don't. Yeah. Don't. don't. Now it's Leave me this way. What about it? It's a Dead Space hoodie. They just announced the new Dead Space remake. Those of you uh, watching uh, watching live right now, uh -huh. EA Play happened today, and uh -huh. they announced the uh, the Dead wow, Space wow, yeah. remake. Look at that glamour shot of, the, <laughs> of like, uh, Michael's back. I would say Michael's. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna you hung it Jack try and make this better. The... How else would I hang it? Yeah. How do I hang it not limply? Where's that? You're, wait, the, where's the, we used to have a mannequin. There's, there's, I just, there's a mannequin I over just here. Let me threw it on there. Let me get the mannequin. Because the this will blow your mind. I just saw it sitting in the kitchen. And I went, is that my jacket? Yeah. I didn't bring it. Get it was the mannequin. Here. There you go. I think there's it's a new. shitload of clothes in the kitchen that yeah. like has collected. And your shit could have been taken by someone. like, where is it? Well, they wouldn't. It's Brian zippers. Baker would have been wearing your hoodie around. <laughs> zippers broken. Um, someone in chat said that uh, that would the mass magician would air before X Files. Whoa! Like, well, Michael, the truth that was that. Throwback. Yeah. Whoa! His that, head or or her head is uh, almost um, off. That's a nice looking shirt, Michael. <laughs> it is a nice don't, looking shirt. Don't you can talk get about it. Um, you can get that with a little. I call it the Face Jam Monkey Box. That's not what it's called. Uh, I don't know what it, I think it's called nice. like the snack pack nice. or something. There you go. Yes. Uh, but uh, it comes with the uh, <laughs> the little like uh, kids meal esque box. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that shirt comes in it and a pin. And this hat goes. It pairs pin. well with yeah, it. Yeah, look at that. Good say. combo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we, so we have a whole set. Yeah, anyway, he got couch. that. I assume to put the jacket. Yeah, yeah I thought did, so. And then he, he went up. The I got. I did the man. I did my job. I did. You walked right past the jacket. You walked right past it. I thought you were gonna get it. Uh, only got Michael I'm going to so gaslight Jackie. Yeah. I, I got never distracted by this couch that's over here. I might, I might, you know what? I'm, I think I'm gonna take it. Anyway, Dead Space remake you looks were freaking make cool. I, no, this is spontaneous. What? Okay. What's going on well, here? Well, before we started, he He's said, I'm gonna take this couch and put it on the set. And oh, I did said, he? That sounds like something I would do. But then I realized about seven minutes ago that he never did it. Yeah. Uh, just because well, I don't know what's going on over there, yeah. I can't see. I used to, yeah. uh, but he's doing it now. I would yeah. drag shit <laughs> on the set all the time. Yeah. That was fun times, and mm -hmm. we stopped doing that. Mm -hmm. Nicholas, you wanna uh, you wanna uh, help so me anyway, not scrape just... the paint off the ground? What? You scraping paint? Yeah. He's. Oh, oh my God. He got it. <laughs> whole <laughs> hull of balloon it. out. Here Nicholas we go. Said All right. It. Here it is. Everyone, cover Happy up your feet. <sighs> this isn't lit. No, I'm gonna lay. You're lit. lit. It's too low. I am pretty lit. It's very. Sheesh. It? Very Sheesh. Meth. All right. I'm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. What's this? Did you forget how far you sink? You know what that is. Oh. Yeah. 
What is this bag in here? Is that always fantastic in there? Fantastic appearance at yeah. RTX. That's to make sure Barbara can't breathe. That Bimmy well. hosted quite a few. Where are there. the sunglasses? Because this is gonna look terrifying. Anyway. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> and that, that's like a face hugger from Alien, basically. It is. That's horrifying. What has this become? Uh, I guess again, I will try to desperately segue it. Thank you for everyone who came uh, to all the RTX segments and checked out Bimmy and Unruly Rollers, in which there was yeah. an Alien reference. <laughs> That was cool. A lot of alien references in that one, actually. That Is that cool. out yet, or no? That was a fun know. one. Who's, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Me, Michael, Outwards Trevor, and Hannah. Formed. And Hannah was fantastic. I love doing- Damn, acting. dude. <laughs> it's nice. Damn. I love doing acting with Hannah, because she's done a lot of uh, behind the scenes work, I guess, or work off camera, but she's really funny, and very good with improv, too. So yeah. it, was, it was a joy to work with her in that She's sense. a great voice actress, as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. A little surprise there. Yeah, but yeah, thank you everyone who watched RTX 2021. Uh, can't wait to be in person next year. Assuming Delta and Lambda don't kill all of us. So. Don't curse it. Yeah, I'm waiting for Omega. <laughs> get vaccinated. Hey, if you're out there, get vaccinated. If you're not vaccinated, don't be dumb. Get vaccinated. Uh, but we don't know. It Get vaccinated. It's dumb. Uh, people, the 99% of people in hospitals right now due to COVID are, are unvaccinated people. Get vaccinated. There you go. Yeah. That's that. <clears throat> Nothing political about it. It's yeah. science. Well. You're science. Ooh. Damn. I wish. He brought, he started, he brought all things. this shit on the set for the jacket. We kind of glossed I know, it. I oh. know. Like the whole thing, the whole point of this was for the jacket. Okay, I saying. understand though, Trevor. That movie does not hold that up, That is by my the way. brain exactly. Is I'm like, I'm in the middle of this bit. <laughs> I forgot about the past. Yo, this, this is bit. hot. <laughs> this is, I mean, well, like, a fucking light. Oh, I didn't put it there. Who put it there? I did. Animal. I oh, did. Because again, you were like, well, it's just dangling. I'm like, well, how, what do you, how do you want me to not dangle it? Trevor, cool, you... great, Trevor. Now it's on the mannequin, and you can't see the fucking logo on the back. <laughs> the mannequin, make that it was the whole angles. point. Don't try zipping; it's broken. I told oh you. Yeah, that. zipper's broken. It's broken, you can dude. Keep trying. Which is now. great because that that that's one of those zipper well, that's jackets. What, that's what I'm going to show you this part. It first. zips the whole face, and so <laughs> you, you really can't talk to anyone. You, and you can't see through it. There's no yeah. technology going on there where you can see face out technology. of it. It's just maybe that's how. You, People fucked up. People like to sleep. This is your health yeah. and, and, your, and, and your state. And what is it called? St stasis? What is your, the health meter? Stas no, that's stasis, that's yeah, the stasis. stasis. Yeah. And then this is your health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's been a minute. The other thing about it, not just zipping up over your face, is that then a zipper's touching your face. Cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's not just that it's closed. Yeah. It's, it's, you, I don't want to cut my face. I said, well, not only that, but you don't have a beard. You have any facial hair? You're oh, ripping that shit right out. You're, so you're see, I man. don't, and I also want to wear that like on public transport and just kind of sit there with the thing fully zipped up and have people wonder, like, what are they awake? Are they alive? Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> They're just kind of hanging out here. Uh, I don't think people hoodie. in public would, you know, if you're on a subway and, and you're dead or alive or asleep, I don't think anyone's wondering. See, I don't think anyone cares. Talk. It depends on where you are. If you're in New York City or Chicago, they won't give a flying fuck about you. But here in Austin, we don't have a lot of public transport. There's some buses. They'll go, hey, friend, you doing okay? You have one too many last night? And I'll go, oh, I'm I'm in dead space. Dude, New game I'm coming out. And then they'll yeah. be like, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Manscaped. Turn this freaking hot summer into a hot guy summer with Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0, okay? Look, cleaning up, trimming, taking care, it ain't fun. But with the, with the Manscaped lawnmower at mine and your disposal, it's easy, easy peasy, smooth, silky, light, no cuts, no fuss. It's beautiful. There's even a little flashlight on it in case you're doing it in the dark, you know? You don't want anyone to see. The Performance Package 4.0 comes with everything you need to get trimmed for the summer like the new Lawn Mower 4.0 with their cutting edge ceramic blade, pun intended, skin safe technology, a 7,000 RPM motor, and an LED spotlight. The Lawn Mower 4.0 gives you the safest, most precise shave possible. The Performance Package 4.0 also comes with the Weed Whacker for cleaning up your nose and ears, you know? Get in there, get the junk out of there. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. You don't want that stanking up. And the Crop Reviver Toner. Plus, they'll throw in a pair of boxer briefs and a travel bag. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code OFFTOPIC at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code OFFTOPIC at manscaped.com. Escape the shrubs and weeds this summer and shine with Manscaped. <sighs> um, but I'm looking at 
you see the messaging guidelines, John? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have messaging guidelines. Hey, wait, I can't see through. them. Well, you don't. This isn't you for you, Trevor. Hey, show this me. Is, this is need to know, and you don't need to know. So, to know. I'll tell everyone else. You, you, want me to, you want me to explain what's yeah, going you on? You can talk about it, Jack. So, uh, so the, the, the new Dead Space uh, remake uh, 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 that uh, EA Motive is making, uh, they actually, so it's a pretty, pretty damn popular game, pretty important to a lot of people. It's very, very popular back in the day. And so doing a remake of it, they're like, we don't want to get stuff wrong. We want to make sure we're, uh, you know, um, treating the fans correctly. So they actually started a council where they brought in big Dead Space fans, um, you know, newer ones, older ones. People have been involved around Dead Space for a long time. And I'm happy to say that they actually included myself and Michael in that group, a very small group of people. I'll tell you this, they included you and I'm not, we, oh, yeah. not going to yeah. name names, right? Because some people, no, I'm <laughs> yeah, saying yeah, yeah. just there's a bunch of people and some people might not announce it or whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, they included you and Jackie. And mm. I got invited uh, by Jackie, not you. That's true. So Well, for what it's worth, what they were like, there? hey, Jackie told us to reach out to Michael. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And then, yeah. yeah she I was know. very adamant to say, though, that, <laughs> I, that she, she got. She called dibs. I'll give yeah, her full yeah. credit on that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so it's been really cool. Like we've been involved with it for a while now, and uh, and yeah, and it, like they're giving us full like unfiltered access. Like we've been talking with the creative director and like people working on it and stuff, and it's it's been awesome. And so, very That's very cool neat stuff. stuff. But, yeah, I, we can't really say much at all other than that we are involved, and we're gonna be I'll working look, with the I'll, game until looked, it's released. I so. looked. I'll say it. I looked. <laughs> Maybe well, I would have been involved if you showed me the talking points. You, there you here. go. Well, yeah. You shared. Well, I don't, I don't it says, it says yeah, what the hell, keep guys? Trevor out. I'm That's just, true. I'm gonna wear this hoodie can't keep me out of dead part. space. So yeah. The next frontier. Anyway, uh, so um, if uh, Michael and I are making sure the game's going to be awesome. And Jackie. Don't put also, that on also. me. And so when it, so. it, you know. I'm just vibing. Any feedback. Send it to these folks. Shut the yeah. hell up. Also, all I of guess the feedback, positive feedback, or negative. Or... How are they going to have feedback? No, so we'll find a we way. can when talk about it. being part of the council if the we floor. wish. Yes. When they play it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, well, the thing with this is, and this is interesting, is they had this thing so early in development. Yeah, yeah. Because it's they're doing a concentrated effort to actually have manageable feedback right mm -hmm. because yeah, yeah. as as they like i was kind of told early on like a lot of times whatever a game a movie whatever people will bring people in and go what did you like what didn't you like what do you think needs to get changed and it'll be like da -da -da -da, all great ideas it's too late to change it. yeah 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 we're a and month so, from launch it's all exactly. it's all gold and yeah. so the whole um kind of thought process with this was get it in early so yeah. like a there's actual feedback and actual like, yeah, I think this might work, or what did you well, even like, like feedback, about this and that and whatever. Like, like some of the some of the, the people in the council gave some feedback um, about stuff that's been announced already that they actually altered because of the things we told them. I'm trying to be as vague as possible. I kept about saying, this, but... "Take you out." That was my <laughs> feedback. Um, so, uh, but uh, someone asked if I'm going to be the uh, the space innkeeper. Yes, I will yes, be. I'll be voicing that. the space innkeeper in Dead Space. That's well, that's Remake. a good question because I was wondering. I watched Michael play Dead Space one and a little bit of two, but I didn't see like too much NPC interaction. There's a little bit, but not like a crazy amount. Am I wrong? There's very very yeah. few NPCs. So I was joking. Game. I'm like, oh, you're an NPC, but I was like, there's like <laughs> like two maybe. It's like that's Jack. <laughs> so. It's been it's been really cool and it's been it's been a lot of fun to see them trust us and like actually like legit like they're giving us like like that's stuff. Extreme. That's all behind the scenes, and it's like, oh, wow, okay, you, like I would never expect to be able to see this kind of stuff, and uh, and yeah, and they're being very open and very, very honest about what they're working on, about like how you know some things are going to happen, some things can't happen, and you know it's it's really cool, and That's so legit. hopefully we'll be able to talk more more detailed about it in the future. Yeah, um, you probably already are going to get. I probably trouble. went way over the line yeah, already sure. just by trouble. mentioning anything. You're and sear me out. I, oh. I mentioned the whole Dead Space. In guy, and I'm You're sorry. Sued. We have this new release now. Looking forward to the future because I always look to the future. Um, I want to incorporate Dead Space into an MMO platform. We're going to call it Dead Galaxy. You get to play along with your friends and survive in space against aliens. It's going to be fantastic. Necromorphs. They're called. We'll call Necromorphs. it the yeah. Dead Verse. Well, I mean, to some they're scary, but anyway. I want to, you know, I want to understand them. You Maybe should. Them. Dude. Know. You should check out the uh, the trailer that came out, the announced trailer that came out today. It is. Awesome, and if if you're a fan of the original game, you will very quickly be like, "Oh, damn!" Yeah. I'm excited damn. to play it. Like, like I'll say it because it's out already. We got to see the trailer. 
mm -hmm. that they were like, we're going to put this trailer out, and then gave notes, and then they changed the trailer a little bit. Yep. And yep. Then that was the trailer, the like official trailer mm -hmm. that came out. Yeah, it's it's awesome. And the I will like I I can think I can say this the uh, the, the, the twinkle twinkle like in the trailer there's like the voice of the twinkle twinkle it's the same one from the original announced trailer. Twinkle, they actually had to like dig twinkle. up the audio to find it and use it, so cool. it's really That's neat. Cool. No. Uh, there will, sorry, I see. Okay, real quick, I want to get this. KJB crazy. There won't be any usual EA microtransaction, and it uh, will there. They've already come out and said no. There will be no microtransactions in this game. They are very explicit on saying no, there will not. Macrotransactions. Whoa! <laughs> and it's just one. You buy the game. Goodness. Oh. Who I don't know why we don't do enough pod, like more podcasts on. I'm sorry, you, Lindsay. You're, you're, on cushy, you cushy, look cushy, like cushy. I, I look like shit. I feel like shit, but that has light. no bearing no on how comfortable I feel. Captain Cushy uh, down there. Trevor, Captain what's your favorite cookie? necromorph? Or what uh, kind? The I one like that babies. I stomp halfway through uh, Act Two, Stage Three. What are you talking about? The necromorphs. I like the ones that are stuck in the wall. I don't know either. Not the moaners. What are they called? The ones that are in the wall that. Like, the ones that shoot the things yeah, or yeah. the ones that are just like dead in the wall? No, the ones that shoot the things. I don't know. They, they shoot the little pods. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Little tentacles coming What are the toxic necromorphs called? They're just sitting uh, in the corner yeah. going, <gasps> <gasps> The ones with like the big balls on yes. their hands? Yeah. And you, well, no. You cut them off well, and use them as well, grenades. Well, there's that, but then are you talking about That's the one that poison? There's a poison room there's that I watched you go through, ones. so maybe there's two separate ones. That's I know what Jack's talking about. We have the three pointers come out. Shoot them off. No, that's the baby. What? No, that's no, the baby. No baby. You're baby, talking you about baby. all you kick the necromorphs. Okay, yeah, but yeah. the baby's the only one with the three tentacles. Yeah. Interesting. Like okay. Maybe Mr. Memory, because there's big necromorph with the two pincers. It looks like a praying mantis. That's, that's, the, most of the, that's the main one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. then you have the baby necromorphs, yeah, uh -huh. which you cut the three mm -hmm. tentacles, then uh -huh. punt, punt baby. Okay, cool, but well, it's okay only, it's a video no, game. No, you only punt it if it grabs you. You don't want to punt it, because that means it's I mean, it fucking you up. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, that's not like a Leon, like, you know, kneecap and then kick him. Oh, see, I like, I totally thought it was. It's grabbing your face, uh, okay. and you just kick it off you. Got yeah. you. I thought it was a prompt. Like, I did. No. I did like the one that was like the little, uh, the little like walkie things. Those little tiny ones that they would cut off your head and then put themselves on your body. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Animation. They would like yeah. walk the around. The death with animation their head. for that yeah. was so There's cool. There's very few of those. Yeah. In the yeah. game, because together you find those little guys first, but together they make that like yeah weirdo lanky one. There's only like three of those in the whole game. Yeah. This is all the original, original Dead Space. game we're talking mm -hmm. about. Anyway, if you haven't played Dead Space, you can actually pick it up right now on, no, this isn't an ad, no sponsor or anything, but like it's actually like eight bucks on Steam right now or, or, or Origin or whatever the new EA thing is. So there's a bug flying around. There, yeah. there are a few gnats here. It's back. Yeah. So anyway, enough Dead Space talk. No. It's exciting. It's cool that yeah. it got announced. Yeah, very, very cool. Very That's cool. awesome exciting. that you guys have some involvement. Oh, I'm, uh, I didn't know that. That's legit. It was a secret. Why? Well, yeah, I know. I'm proud. Didn't even proud of you. Ever. Listen, I, and I know everything. He knows everything. Because yeah. if I don't, boy, do I freak out. Yeah, I mean, he gets, he, he Trevor, gets you do. angry. Then, no, then he turns I don't get angry. I just baby. get anxious. You'd be a Plus great baby. console yeah. for kids. <laughs> I'm anxious. For me, if they consulted <laughs> someone like me for something like Dead Space, like, what do you want to see? I'm like, everything pastel, the entire thing candy themed, the whole damn game. <laughs> They'd be like, thanks for joining <laughs> us. You'll right. never be back. DLC, thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Appreciate it. Welcome back, Trevor. Prepared this early. The land of the standing. So, uh, yeah. So, what else is going on? Uh, I guess battle, new Battlefield stuff came out today. Uh, Battlefield Portal, Battlefield 2048 Portal looks neat. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing else. Oh. Ooh. Um, you guys see Black Widow? Yeah. yeah. So it's good. You see Very White good. Widow, her sister? Yelena? Yeah. Well, there's Yelena and then there's White Widow, who works. Lindsay's talking <laughs> about themselves. It was from RTX. From the, from oh. the, I mean, you were there. You were DJ. Yeah. Oh, you okay. Were DC. Oh, yeah, yeah. We should talk about the, the DJ thing. That was a lot of fun. That was, that was the, the So the, we did a GTA 5 role play. Uh huh. Uh, that we streamed only it was a ticketed event ambitious and, so, and, and we streamed the whole thing and I did music for it Perfectly Which was a lot executed. of fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. There was some there was some fun stuff. Why would you doubt it? There was some happy coincidence stuff that worked out really well But I uh, think yeah, it went off like a dream. No, yeah, the uh, the concept there uh, And we tried our best to kind of broadcast this uh, in the time uh, leading up to the event um, was that we were gonna role play Alec was going to come on. Uh, Matt also jumped in to help with kind of structuring up what the the bounds of the story would be, and then the uh, ticketed audience would come through and help make a decision, crucial decisions uh, throughout the story to figure out what we were doing, what our roles were, like who we were role playing mm -hmm. as. Jack would live DJ as the uh, you know the action 
d d um, dictated. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it was it was fun, and it was we definitely like a score. Yeah, yeah, it was like a score, yeah. like a live score. Yeah. Um, and it was definitely like the first of its kind of kind, I guess. I mean, obviously we've done role play and whatnot, but I think it was it was definitely interesting. We learned a lot from it. It was a lot of chaos, as you can imagine, but. I would love to do something like that in the future. Because I know we talked a lot about role play in GTA. Mm -hmm. I know that's a huge thing, a lot of role play servers and stuff. Um, but just coming out of like certain let's rolls and even certain videos, I think we've we kind of ebb and flow into role play territory, uh, improv character development, whatever. Uh, and that's a lot of fun. It's like yeah. it adds a little bit of like refreshment to the yeah. content. And it, it's, so, it's so weird because when we play games, like one of the first things we do is we kill the music. It, because when we do editing and stuff, we immediately take off the music because cross cuts and stuff, the music gets all over the place, so we yeah. get rid of it. So like doing an, doing something to music was so refreshing mm -hmm. and getting to pick anything I wanted. Since we weren't broadcasting it publicly, it was a little bit easier to, to kind of play anything. And <clears throat> man, that was fun. I like yeah. singing High School Musical and Wrecking Ball in a like a horrible Russian accent <laughs> because we're diving into this like, mission we're going people. on. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that was, I, it was, I think it was Kai who threw me all the, the high school musical yeah, music. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I had heard, heard a single one of those songs. I just saw the titles of them. I'm like, I, this would, I guess, make sense. And I saw I'd play it and then you guys dug it. So yep. it's good. Well, also you talk about like character creation for us. <laughs> We've had that forever with Achievement Hunter, but especially with down. like role playing and stuff. It creates like lore, I guess, for our extended universe. Yeah. So fans go like, oh, remember Kinda that like time you this character? Yeah. Sort of vibey. Yeah, like the yeah. Crybaby Crew. That I mean, like it's people, but that is like a like character it's people. You become like your Crybaby yeah. Crew is people. The lore is people. people. <laughs> They're adults for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. I mean, we have a lot of in jokes, but I love how we've also developed this kind of like light lore in a lot of ways. Like, like Brandine. About. Brandine's a Brandine. great. I love Brandine. Yeah. I want Brandine. She back. existed in one yeah. episode. <laughs> <laughs> that, that brand, oh, there we go. So there's. Oh, that's that's DJ Junk. That was the the finale of RTX nice. uh, 20. So is that Steffi in the front? Maybe. I think Steffi's I think, in there. Yeah. Alex in there. Somewhere. Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Uh, God, every everyone's masked up. I think Nicole. there's Nicholas. Yeah, I was gonna say it's hard to tell when you're masked. I think it's Nicole. Yeah. Yeah. That think, might be. Um, Cody was running light, so he's probably not on screen. That was a yeah, lot of and fun. And Jack's clearing set because DJ John had to leave. So yeah, yeah, that's me. I take photos you of just DJ John. Squirted him out. That was fun. Thank you. For yeah, that was that was really fun. I mean, it was it was a blast doing just like watching the the comments and stuff, but like doing that live. I can't wait to do that. I mean, I can't wait till DJ Junk does that next year. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. My my favorite part about that too, like not DJ Junk. I love DJ Junk. Don't get me wrong. But before that on GTA was Alec running that because it's very similar to him running Unruly Rollers. Where it's yeah, like, and it's exactly Alec. the same. I understand. <laughs> like I get it. I'm there on the same wavelength. But like him organizing this fucking chaos and like eight people are yelling at each other and Alex like hey I need you to do this and we're like blah, 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 blah. And I'm like Alec you gotta just like give it to us yeah. man like something it's it's <laughs> great when you play like uh you know uh, Duck Hannah Alec um Emily Weeks Ash uh Schmidt uh they they all play together mm -hmm. uh, and many others I, I think Steffi's in there too but anyway they, they all play Alec is the DM and like that DM style is awesome when like you have Chilling. people who are on yeah. the, mostly on the rails, and he's he's definitely more like cool. Yeah, we can make that happen. Like, and and you kind of want that yes and in a DM, but yeah. when we get involved, we kind of we overextend that welcome of flexibility. Mm. And so like yeah, he's got. It feels like his mentality is a lot of my mentality, where he goes, let's just see what happens. I'm like, yeah. okay, I love that, but I need a let's little more direction. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, too, much, too many breaths. <laughs> Starting to hyperventilate. Yeah, here. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> just shallow, quick breaths. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> then we also out. did uh, an unruly, another unruly rollers panel, I guess, but it was more of a we can talk about it, right? Star Trekian, yeah, 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 yeah. role play. Star Trekian. It's, yeah. it's not yeah. like the vod's not up yet. I don't think. I don't, I don't think so. I checked this Probably morning. Not. Let's spoil yeah, some there shit. There were a couple days. Nothing to spoil. I don't think it's spoily. Yeah, if you were there, spoil. thank you. If not, check it out. Soon. I'll spoil it's this. Spoiled. I hit under the table for about 15 minutes. You did. <laughs> what? And I just like, I don't know how that came across on camera where if it looked like I just walked onto the set, but I didn't. I'm I hiding was, I'm hiding the pit was, that the door is right there. Yeah, there it was uh, you and it. Hannah at the table mm -hmm. and I was just sitting there crouched like this. About it was. 15 or 20 I was trying so hard minutes. not to kick you. I was sitting it's spread funny because, like this. Dude, Hannah sat down and I went, oh, this is going to be no problem at all. Like, I have so much space. Lindsay sat down and kicked me. <laughs> it, it, like, instantly, instantly. I'm sorry. Michael, I just, I'm looking at your hair right now. Uh -huh. You could do a great, like, 
crossplay of mm -hmm. Infus Nest from uh, oh, Solo. What you're mm. saying right now? She, uh, she she was the uh, she was the 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 bad guy in Falcon and Winter Soldier. She was the. We haven't watched that yet. Or okay. Michael might have. Okay. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. God, I'm trying to think oh, of her name. The red the redhead who. Uh, yes. Well, yeah. So like Infus Nest, at the her. end, takes off the mask, and she uh, the hair is very very. See, similar. I thought Horizon Zero Dawn. With yeah. You? If we get a the if we get a, a cross cut, there. Brian, if we can get if we get a shot of Infus Nest. I got uh, real, Michael has day two here. Next to Warwick Best Davis at the end of Solo. Solo, criminally underrated film. Actually, it was a lot good. of fun. Actually, I really, really enjoyed I liked it a lot. I did too. Um, yeah. yeah, and then but that was that was when everything. There's too much Star Wars. Yeah, too much Star I Wars. think that and then like people who had a sour taste in their mouth after was it um, Last Jedi? Yeah, Last Jedi was the last yeah. one. Yeah, so like ooh. Ryan Johnson. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then he went and did like, Knives Out, and was like, totally redeemed himself. Yeah, <laughs> and he awesome. went and did something yeah. like this. <laughs> cool. Dude, he's <laughs> totally redeemed. They're doing Woo! Knives Out 2 and 3, I think? Yeah, Janelle Monet was on the cast, and um, is it, um, God, I'm the worst. Who is the new character in WandaVision, the witch? Uh, Catherine Hahn? Yes, I Catherine Hahn. I'm like, she's done a million other things. She was Close. confirmed, too. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Two women that I love yeah, are Catherine in this. That's great. great. I love that we're seeing more of Catherine Hahn, because um, she's always been very good, um, what are they called? Like, uh, Character actor? Character. Mm -hmm. She's always been a very good character actor. Yeah. With smaller smaller bits relative to the greater film or show. Uh, but she's always been very strong. So I, I'm, I'm, yeah. it's been really cool to see her career develop and yeah. she, her take on like, more leading roles. Like, yeah, she, she's she's great. She she's would funny. pop up in like uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah. She would come in as like the campaign yep. advisor or whatever. Well, I love it's stuff like, like that God, when you awesome. see like actors working together and then you see them in future projects and you're like, I know where you guys met. Yes. I know where you guys started working together. Same with Parks and yeah. Rec. I'm like, Catherine yep. Hahn started working with, um, I mean, they were in. Jen. Bartlett Jen, or something? Um, is her character's name? Yeah, I'm the worst, of course. That is a she's, good yeah, memory. Right? So I might yeah. be right. It's no, you're like right. That. But she's a fantastic actor in that, too, and I love her character. But before that, she was in Step Brothers with yeah. Adam oh, yeah. Adam uh, Scott. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. She was in Parks and Rec, so I think... Flat, flat, but see, then, terrible. I think that's... You, <laughs> you got, you got yeah. Ant-Man, you got Ant-Man yeah, yeah. and Quantumania. Maybe, she, you know, Agatha Harkness pops up there, and it's like, mm. okay. And see, you, then you get Paul Rudd, who was also yeah. in... She was running Paul Rudd's campaign in Parks there and Rec. There we go. Oh, <laughs> That's Bro, great. he was Give amazing on that oh, show. So, for like that bit uh, character. Yes. Bobby Newport. Bobby, yeah. Bobby <laughs> Newport. Bobby Newport. I'm against crime. Yeah. I'm not I'm against not, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Just, just My favorite. Standing me. ovation. Give me. Give me. I want it. That seems great it. because and he, goes, he leaves uh, that. Yeah, and I think yeah. he hit his head in the moment. You like, can it hear seems him natural. Thud his and he goes, oh, God. He's in like a booth, but his head's higher than the booth. And so he just goes like that and hits the wall. And it seems very like. Real, but he played it into the character just because more whiny that he just hit his head or like, why is this here to inconvenience me? I'm like, that's such good acting. Thank Why? you. Yes, like that's so funny. Paul Rudd. Paul I love Rudd. Paul Rudd. I think Paul Rudd's like seven years old now, but yeah. he's looked the exact same since Clueless. He's like, one yeah. of those guys that looks changed. different off camera because like you know you color your hair just a little bit and it, and it de-ages a little, but. Yeah, he, I mean, he's handsome for his age, for sure. I mean, Dude. he's not old, but, like, he he's aged very gracefully. Speaking of old, did you see the Jackass Forever trailer? <laughs> I Dude, didn't see it, but yes. I saw the announcement. Oh, I saw that. man, those guys. It's I thought like, it was someone's going like, to break a hip, <laughs> I thought it was going to be, like, a, retros a retrospective, mm -hmm. kind of, like, here's mm -hmm. some behind-the-scenes kind of moments, cut film from other... Yeah. But no. No, it's a full-blown movie. new stuff. It's all new stuff. <laughs> what, what was it uh, um, steve was essentially saying, like, you know, you got to get all your concussions out before 50. As long as you do that, you're oh fine. And, and Knoxville's 49, so we're good. <laughs> and then it's going to hit like, by a bull. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dude. I don't That's know, man. Jennifer Those Barkley. guys are we were What is it? Jennifer Barkley. We Barkley. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer Barkley. 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 Fantastic character. Yeah. Yeah. But Barkley. anyway, Jack S. We, we lost okay. chat. Can we get chat back up here? Yes. That's, no, that's we need crush. two of Jack. That's my crush. Two of Jack. That's my crush. So I, I yeah. Oh, the Jack dust. dust. It's all over my face. What's 52? on this couch? Why are you dust? Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a no. dusty couch. I've, yeah. It's I'm old. Oh, no, man, it's like the asbestos couch. So, oh, Paul Rudd is 52 years old. Jeff Bestos. Years young. Man. Uh, That being said, he was. That's right. With Jackass, I'm all about it. Here's why. <laughs> I want to fight that ageism because I'm. we are in the generation of people who went into the internet in yeah. our early Oh, there 20s, we go. There's the mostly. crossover event. Look at that. Look oh, that. no, that's, that's true. actually pretty close, dude. That's good. Oh, that's mm. you, you, get, you get a little, like, you get a little jacket there. Sorry. Yeah, uh, so, a little, like, uh, tighter of a curl. Audio listeners, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're if you listening, we have a cross section of Infant's Nest from, is it Infant's Nest? In, 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 the, the bad guy Infant's from. Infant's Nest. From, uh, from Solo. I think Michael's Michael. like a Tyro. You could totally that's do that. Me. 
You could crossplay that easy. And look, there's Warwick Davis in the background too. That's what you I think asked crossplay. For. That's what it's it is, right? Cosplay. 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 No, I thought crossplay is like the gender bin. Oh, gender I don't. Bin is oh, I didn't know. He is, he I just right assumed. Sense. Yes. I, I, know. I just right assumed you were old man. Is that no, is no. that not right? Am I? Am I? No, no I have no the idea. I just thought you were trying yeah. to right. say cosplay. He's right. No, I don't cosplay. That's why I just kept going. Oh my god, grandpa. Crossplay in your game box. Get to cross. Crossplay. I didn't know that. I thought you were just fucking up the word. I mean, it's. I mean, I would. I guess I would just call it cosplay anyway. I guess so. Right? You yeah. Know, like I wouldn't think of it. I mean, as I mean I like, in the yeah. Venn diagram, it's a form suppose, of cosplay. Sure. cosplay so yeah, I wouldn't have word. to like define it at like I'm gonna dress up as a character. Yeah. I don't really give you a shit. You could say gender bend cosplay if you're That's like, fine. hey, I'm, I'm I just, Leon, I just but thought I'm it was really funny because first yeah. you said it and I didn't Here know I what you meant, and then you said it again, and I just thought you were messing up the word. See? I thought so. V2 Blast got that back. We're good. We're good. Thanks, V2 Blast. Hello. Nice to see you again. Going back, I'm all about this. This couch. Jackass Revolution. This couch is comfy. He's Yo, like, that's a couch you better be ready to climb out of when you sit down. Oh yeah, because it's insane. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, I was uh, I was I was doing like a little noir bit for RTX, and when I sat down the first time, we were doing a run through so we could get the beats, and uh, I I sat down, I sank in, and I was like, whoa, help! I, uh, I wish I had that on camera because that would help. Oh, if you go too yeah. far, you get sent to another dimension. Exactly, like the realm. big comfy couch. Oh my God, Molly's in there with her doll right yep. now. Holy yep. shit. Anyway, you grow what were we saying, couch? Michael? You didn't. I was saying, I'm all about, <laughs> all about this jackass Shake those revolution. babies. Here's okay. why. Okay. Tell because, me why. Uh, our generation especially, like we are going into internet culture of just like, you know, the, playing pranks like that and making bods, et cetera. We're getting older. I'm 31. Uh, Michael's older than me. Trevor's hard, a little younger. I'm, still, I'm yeah, almost yeah. 31. Still, yeah, Jack, you'll one get day. that one day. Now, as we age like fine wine, I want to be able like to still prank milk. my friends. Like spoiled. So, and, and physically maim myself for, for content and likes. Don't so let me <laughs> tell you. Let me tell you this. Please don't. Let me tell you this. I can take it. No, you no. will never. I mean, maybe if you're on like a dairy farm or something. But in my life, have never experienced more spoiled or sour milk than when you get kids because they hide cups. Oh, oh dude, what? yes. You find yeah. a sippy cup and you just go. Yeah. Is this oh, survival yeah. tactic. It's like, oh, you this never is, know when your next cup yo, comes. Milk Swing turns away. like Swing that. Away. Yeah. Milk turns like <gasps> that. Dude, you milk. You find one that's nice. Did you dude. mean to do I that? Got you know, I got it. Yeah, Jack got it. Or did it. you just clap and it no, was no, fine. No, no, it was in front of my dude, face. Show the kill. Speaking of clapping and that being Show the kill. I was watching. You can't. Jack. Jack just looks like. No, you see it. I'm just waiting for the high five. He loves the noggin. And everyone, high five your screens real hard. Jack loves Degrassi. I was on the front page of Reddit and this. Freaking killed me. I don't know why. Uh, pardon my harsh language. Yeah. Um, it was it was one of those slingshot rides oh, where I, you're sitting, I was oh, you're aimed up, and scow, and it launches you. And you're in a, you're in a little cage by bungee cables. Whatever. I'll send it to you, Brian. Yeah, Brian's got it. Um, and I'm myself. It, on the way up, very quickly, this this unfortunate girl slams into like a pigeon that had oh. just been flying overhead. Oh, and it was no. <laughs> like, oh, no. No, it goes, like, it like hits her and just goes dead. It's, I mean, I it doesn't it die, dead, no, but, but it's like limp. It's, it's like, well, it's like, the well. upward force, it probably got forced down. God. And, I, and, I, and it what? cracked me up so bad because all I could think of was the guy who's, op or, or person who's operating this machine who launches the thing has probably been waiting all of his days, waiting for the birds that have been flying overhead. He goes, three, Two, yeah, one, two, I got it! No, <laughs> no he's playing a game. He's playing a meta game. Right. But the poor girl, like, oh, oh I just think goodness. of the disease. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> that, that would be oh, me. She just moves it. <laughs> that would she be grabs me. it and she, like, throws it. Yeah. Here, uh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Okay, I relate so. I to this woman okay, here so we go. much. <laughs> <laughs> so this, uh, sorry, audio listeners, but it is incredible. So they, yeah, this oh is one of those slingshot God. attractions. I like her Hollister shirt on the and left. And wait for it, wait it's for Lister. it. It's Lister. Wait for it. And there, and bird. It's a That's awesome. She's like, I got here. That's wild. <laughs> but it, it just like, because yeah, the bird is just flying, and <laughs> the thing just caught it, <laughs> and it's still yeah. going upwards. That way, it's just stuck to her chest. It's also kind of like, them. it's also uh, kind of the perfect shape of yeah. like a, yeah. a V neck, and the bird's. Yeah. Are out with a v. It kind of like a necklace. That's yeah. Fashion and forward. then I like there's it. a couple seconds where she's kind of like, huh? And then just grabs it and throws it like a, like a rubber chicken. Well, there's, 
coaster. What the fuck? There's oh. clips oh, yeah. like that. Very well. There's clips like that of people on roller coasters and they get hit by a bird and then it's like it's like way more gory. It's oh, like people wiping blood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. That. oh, oh that god, that was tame. No. Yeah. That, was that bird, you yeah, could that see, was... kind of flew. It wasn't like a Randy Johnson bird exploding. Are you talking about him pitching? Yeah. That clip is the best. He just whips that ball and you're like, oh, there once was a bird. Yeah, chat was talking about Randy Johnson. That's a great, I mean, like, poor bird. Rest in peace, you know? Yeah, I, I think so. Oh, that thing yeah. Didn't, yeah, didn't, but... didn't know anything that happened to it. It went quickly, I'll yeah. tell you that. So the odds <laughs> the odds of a bird flying in the flight or, like, in the path of a baseball it's so thrown good, like, by mid... one of the hardest pitchers ever. He's literally up, about to let go, and the bird comes into frame, and you go, oh, no. Let's not act <laughs> oh, like this was no. a mistake. Randy saw it come. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to fucking yeah. find this. Yeah, if someone anyway. was standing there holding a pillowcase, you could have anyway, the, You won't catch me at that yes. baseball stadium. For ever. what it's worth, that bird, for, the for bird that on this, on the clip we showed flies away. So that thing is yeah. okay. You can right. see it literally flap off, so it's be, okay. Yeah, so. I showed the Randy Johnson clip. The Randy Johnson bird did not fly away. That bird is not okay. God, yeah. But it died beautifully. It had a Viking Death. <laughs> oh yeah, the way the way she just grabs it and like throws it. Uh, it's just, just... <laughs> I respect that. In the moment you're like, I just gotta get this out of here. Like, <laughs> <from. I> just, <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to sympathize, like being uh, in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, what is it? It's a bird? <laughs> like all these like emotions that cycle through your brain in such a hot second. Oh, wild. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh, right. Kind of similar subject, I guess, but did you all ever oh, yeah. have I mean there's moments where Animals Rocking. interact with you and you are like, whoa, hey, what's yeah. up? Like a bird. <laughs> Did you have friends who came up to you and pretended to be an animal and would like prank yes. you and stuff Never or no? Worries. What? You, what are you talking Pretending about? Pretending to be an animal? Is that what you said? Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? There was a young girl in our Hear elementary school who used to pretend they were a cat and they would lick their hands and, and claw people. It's not really a yeah. prank. Though. And very quickly they were left alone on the playground because they were like a vicious cat. So, mm, that's, where did you go to school with me? Maybe. You? Hey, what's up? Meow. Get that away. Pristine. I'll take some of these Get that away. Took the squished one. I mean, they're all squished. No, they're not. That one's not squished at all. Oh They're still God. good. That, that one's oh squished. God. That one's squished. That one's squished. That one's fine. Here, let's go ahead and get the opens done. What is it done? Open. Trevor, what is this? So, Ken, I'm not going to say their last name just for their own privacy, but Ken C uh -huh. sent into uh, Red Web, and I saw this earlier, some key lime. Uh, edition cupcakes, which was inspired by our Captain Coochie's Key Lime episode of Red Web. So I just figured I'd show a, a, you know a little gratitude by having a, having your snack here on the podcast. If we're doing, reacting if, to them here, if we're doing shout outs to other podcasts, someone sent me a Cedar Point like history of Cedar Point book. It's and that's a, our it's shout out segment. It's Thanks a so coffee <laughs> table book like this big, and it weighs like twenty pounds. That's legit. I'm like, hold it. There's no name or anything on it. So whoever sent that, thank you very much for that. That's legit. Okay. How is it? I have never had key lime pie. Is it the best key lime pie? This no, side of you probably still haven't. Jack and I love no, key lime pie. But I was curious. What we love key lime pie. I've talked to Jack about how much we fucking love key lime pie Whoa, a lot. I'll tell you down, right now. Dude. Yeah, no, fucking love key lime pie. Now, mm. this is a Twinkie with lime flavoring on top of it. Yeah. This yeah. is a Twinkie. Yeah. I don't. I'm not. I'm not complaining. Up the lime. I'm just stating fact. You need right. more lime. Okay. A little less. A little less Twinkie. I know we're still there. talking and eating and whatever, so I'm gonna I'm gonna table the rest of that. That is actually really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you, Ken, for yeah, sending that in. But for now. I just I'm wanted to, you know, this is one of our few visually entertaining it's good. It's good. things do we, we do. I would right like. Now. To what are we do doing? The, when are we doing the Jersey Devil crossover? I have to. He's right there. To, He's I have right to here. Save my palate for Face Jam. Mm. You know what? I can I respect that. I can't just be hey. eating things all willy nilly. Uh, if I'm gonna want to rate it. There you go. Oh uh, God! It's, a two, it's a two-tier system. You know, there's like two judges. Listen, I, I one bite, Michael. Honestly, Everyone knows the rules. I don't even want to get into that realm. Okay. Everyone I know it's complicated. That's a Tuesday I, re I respect thing. the process. I respect the art. Thing. I respect that I stood I up for an explanation, then we got derailed. So now I'm just standing. Yeah. Okay. Well, because <laughs> you started freaking out about <laughs> hear me out. to be a cat or Listening. something. Again, Jack was brought up in okay. the South. Here we go. You're from I the Midwest. The I never no, think this would happen oh. in the East Coast because you get punched in the face instantly. But or ignored. Mm, maybe there's a lot more ignoring than you think. I had I family know. friends who would come up to you like as a kid. I'm like you know middle school, high school, hanging out, talking to my friends or talking to my parents. Family friends come over and they'll pretend to be like a dog or something, and they'll grab your ankle and go rrr, 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 and like pretend like you're being bit for a second, and they go, ah, I'm just playing. All right, anyways, kids. That's like, yeah, weird. that was a big thing growing up, and I feel that like I'm the only person who experienced that. Are you okay? 
Well, it doesn't feel like a dog biting. It also sounds like a person going, oh. I'm going to get sued. <laughs> but in the moment, you're like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, that's oh, weird. You know what oh I mean, God. Jack? He grew up in Texas. Mm -hmm. What if, so if what if your uncle runs up, does that, and you and you flop like a Kick soccer him. play, and you like, you leg kicks up, out, you go down, knee. and then you start, like, and, and you they have give a, you a PK. And you have a blood capsule in your, in oh, your mouth, or God. a handful. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh, and then, like, you turn it back on them, oh. you say, Got you. That's a red flag on the play. Dude, I am verging on a sneeze. It's gonna, it's gonna blindside me at some point. I keep making. Just hold it for five more minutes. It's all the dust from this couch. It's like five more minutes. It's up in there. Are you a free sneezer? Two sneezers. Don't pick. Two sneezers. I'm trying to Yeah, but you're, you're right near a pick. I know. Outside nose picking. I gotta just rubbing the outside of your nose. You're rubbing your face. I need a COVID test to fix this. I was scratching. I'm touching your fucking face. No. Sick fuck. See, anyway. Jack. I lick my fingers. Jack said he's a two sneezer. Michael laughed at me, saying that people sneeze a certain amount I every time. I laughed because who true. cares? What was it? True. What was like your zodiac? Like, what sign are you? What sneeze? Are you like, Andy sneezer? Dwyer in, shit. In, in Parks and Rec, where he's like, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and he yes. Just sneeze, sneeze. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> no, I, I sneeze probably once, sometimes twice. I don't know. Three damn near every time. Wow. If, if I walk from somewhere dark into somewhere bright, like if I walk from like a movie theater to outside and it's daylight, I will sneeze twice. Apparently that's a gag. thing. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Also, it's it's a light two of you do the light yeah. thing and then the uncle dog thing. Well, if you, if you had that. I, had nothing, I had nothing to do with the uncle dog <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, I never Jack, said uncle my, to you. The, you that coming in coming <laughs> to Disney Plus, Uncle Dog. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Starring Tim Allen. I said family and friend. JTT. Oh, sure. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, oh, I think there's goodness. a thing like if you feel a sneeze coming on and like this this one is just deep in my brain now uh, You can look at a light and, and it might send you yeah, over the edge like, I, huh. I know that it's definitely like a, ref, a reflex of some sort probably has a it's fancy a, it's name. It's a sinus thing, right? Yeah, yeah I don't know. I get the cold weather like gaggies where I feel like I'm gonna throw up if there's cold weather But sneezies? No, coming to Disney like Plus this fall the cold weather gaggies. Gaggies and sneezies. Gaggies and An animated sneezies. cartoon from our friends at Pixar. Meatloaf sandwich. Oh. We have no friends. Dave season so. two. Does anyone watch Dave or am I the only person no, who watched I've Dave? Watched no, I haven't watched Dave. Uh, there was an episode with uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar that was amazing. And anyway, great show, great show. Dave, I fantastic show. Out. You should watch it. I like Little Dicky's music, but unfortunately he collaborated with Chris Brown. I so can't what, back that. Yeah, can't no, back I, I I love all of his stuff except for that more? song. Can't back that. Like he did, he did um, Freaky Friday or whatever. Yeah, that was the that was the Chris Brown song. Fuck Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah. But didn't he also? Does he did he do more after after that? Because there was, was the big was after. the this bitch don't know, know about Pangea was the big song for yeah. a while. Yeah, um, and I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah brain. Brain. that's yeah. like a 19 minute song. Yeah, it's, it's a like, long it's like song. that's like 13 it's minutes so actually. Long. And for what it's worth, the, the, the woman in that video, the woman who was talking to, she's like the main female lead in in Dave. Hmm. Yeah, oh. so he brought her back, and she's like his. She she is his love interest in the show, and That's cool. she's she she's fantastic. She'd be, she'd be torn up by wolves. You know? <laughs> that was in the song at yes. some point. It's great. I got you. Yeah. Uh, well, we made it the war? to end of show. End of show. No. We are live. Oh, All I was, caps. A troll two thing. I was going <laughs> for. And then they're gonna eat me. 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 We're no, live. No. Right. Throughout now? the week on okay. RTTV. It's pausing for a dramatic effect. Uh, a, yeah, good. dramatic okay. effect. Also, be sure to watch Camp Betrayal. The <gasps> second episode is out now. Yeah. Also, comma, the Unruly Rollers episode from RTX. Mm. It is out it's now. It's here. Go. Wow. Watch it after we're done. If you wow. are watching live, wow. stick around for AH post team. Playing, don't starve. But I think that's a think, one round. I think that's a game. Who's on it? Not who's on, who's on this like episode. A real life scenario. Larry's getting video. married. It's a good suggestion. Yeah, Larry is. Yeah. Yeah. Is off getting help, married. Yeah, Larry's getting married. I would recommend it. Larry, Larry the married. This La week. Larry the married. Um, mm. Yes. But uh, happy wedding so uh, Larry. Yeah. Hey. It was also delayed the whole freaking year because of uh, something happened Showed. last year. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. But I'm really happy for them uh, that they could um, actually have the ceremony now. Um, and everybody else that had to delay their shit. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're closing. Thank you for watching, everyone. Everyone uh, tweet Larry. Go. Say happy wedding yeah. bells. Listen, um, listen to text him up. Just a Is thumbs up. Phrase? Listen to Face nope, Jam. Watch Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. Listen to Red Web. Listen to yeah. Annual Pass. You tired Sneeze of that? three times. You tired of that? Sneeze three times. Grab your friend's ankles and pretend you're a dog. No, don't no, do don't do that. Jesus Christ, don't Unless do that. Unless you want to be like Lindsay and Jack. Then do it. No, why am I being lumped in with Tax this? Tax had nothing to do with it. All the same. Born proud. Dead.
good. Texas. We'll see What's you guys. What's the state anthem? Oh, that's Texas, what I got, yeah. we are you. <laughs> Everyone in Texas, Bill we all tough. do oh, boy. the same. God. And yep. we, we pretend to be dogs. We're true. all yep. dogs to the little ones. Is the middle sneeze Tiny there Texans just for too. decoration? It doesn't, it doesn't do rhyme. The song's <laughs> terrible. I hate you That's what like Gavin said to me. Get her I know. done. Bye. Like, I don't sneeze. want it to end. Get her done. I got too much caffeine for my